Microphone on. Hello, hello, welcome to the first stream for Jade Cocoon for the PlayStation 1. There we go, this is my first ever time playing this game, so I'm quite excited. The first time chat from J. J. Destifano223, I think. Uh, love the intro music. Thank you. That was actually made by a fan of my YouTube channel, and it's actually a lo fi version of my main theme tune, which is just amazing. I am the Nagi Prophet. Yes. So I thought I'd put it to use. I see the future through the words of God. Anyway, it looks like the game is beginning, so before me, the one let's be pay some attention to this uh, voice that's been drowned out by the music. It is just as the hunter who is praised in our legends. That hunter shall be known as. Okay, what should I be known as? Should I call myself Nick or Retro Break? Let's go with Nick, as uh, I want to try and be engrossed in this RPG. There we go. I am me. Very interested in this game. It shall not be lifted it sounded cool. Yeah, a lot of people say return. really good things about it. May the protection of Aaron be his. Okay, weird intro. No context behind any of that, so uh, let's the see whether this the makes fire, any sense. The sound of winged minions, and so begins the ordeal. Okay. And we are at a festival with minions, apparently. Hopefully not the annoying yellow cyclops things. Oh, nice starry background. An interesting mix of 2D and 3D. Such an enchanting sound. Oh, and full voice acting too. You will be a cocoon master someday. But they don't know my name. After all, you are the son of a cocoon master. That's the way it is. And as a Nagi woman, I will be your bride. Stop being so naggy. But you know. <laughs> but you know, silence. Hey, you two! Getting a little hot up here, if you know what I mean. Louie, this is not your business, kid. Get out of here! I hope my disc isn't scratched. Some of the voice actors are jumping I'm a little not bit. A kid. And besides, this watchtower's my responsibility. I have a job, not like your stupid cocoon master. So there! Don't be I like the music. Just because tomorrow's the festival, you idiots. You're all talk and a buck tooth idiot, too. Sheesh, I wonder what his problem is. I'm guessing that's her younger brother or something. Oh, that's right. Some minstrels are coming to the village square tomorrow. I bet they'll have some great tales to tell. Let's invite Kelmar, too, okay? Well, we better get some rest. See you at the village square tomorrow. Don't forget. This really bad quality voice acting is throwing me off. I mean, the the acting itself is good, but like the microphone pops and the uh, the bad sound is kind of strange. Mm, okay, we have a menu system to navigate. Should we start at my home? Let's try out my home, see what my house is like. And is it, has it got analog controls? Wow, it actually does. I wasn't expecting that. So if you press the analog button, it does actually have full analog control. I was expecting it to be tank controls. Right, moment of truth. Let's see if there's enough space on the memory card. Fingers crossed. Yay, there is. Okay, excellent. No need to worry about it. Let's get this game started. Let's see what this lady has to say to us. What are you doing in my home? Welcome home. Tonight is a very special night. We welcome the spirits of our ancestors. Are you my mum? Oh, I missed a bit. Be alive out Whoops. There somewhere. 
So he won't need our welcome. The text box is all auto advance. He's dead. I prayed to the god of the forest for his safety. I missed it. What happened to my dad? I know how forgetful you are. Remember to write important things down before you forget. That's what the notes page in the instruction manual's for. Oh, are you not going to talk to me? Is it only selective voice acting? Let's see if the instruction manual actually does have a notes page. The entire thing's in English, which is uh, pretty surprising. But no, no notes page, although we do have customer service numbers on the back page. So if we get stuck, we can uh, we can phone up Sony or from anywhere in the world. Anyway, you're leaving early tomorrow. Better get to bed then. Uh, let's stay up for a bit and explore some of the other places. They say you will have nightmares of the forest minions if you stay up too late on the eve of the festival. Uh oh. I want to see what the other options were. It said I could go to three places, right? Let's keep going. Anyone watching? Has anyone played Jade Cocoon before? I've heard a lot of good things about it, so I'm quite excited. Let's head over to the Silk Mill and see what we've got going on over here. The graphics are really nice. I'm really impressed with the big characters. Man, it looks so good for a PS1 game. Genuinely impressed. Come back tomorrow. Everyone's gone home. Tonight's the night. We're all praying for our ancestors. Your family is too, aren't they? I'm going to pray for all the silkworms who helped us here. God bless the silkworms. Is there nothing else to do here? No, let's head on out. But yeah, super impressed by the graphics. Let's check out the watchtower. That's where we were just now. What do you want? Oh. I'm going to the the audio is going a bit weird again. Okay. I don't have time to mess around at the festival like you guys. After all, I'm the watchman. I'm not just here to give warning. I gotta be the first to fight at the demon's attack. That's what I gotta train for. But I bet you can't even understand. What is up with the audio here? It's all popping and stuff. I don't know whether that's my disc or. If it's just really bad compression from the game. Okay, we've got a lot of other options. Let's go to Nam's house, whoever Nam is. There's two people in here. Are you Nam? You're Anna. Good heavens, Nick. What are you doing up so late? You know, tonight is the night we mourn for the souls of those swallowed by the forest. Even a father like yours became a spirit after he died. Oh, okay, my dad did die. Apparently I skipped that bit earlier. You should pay your respects to him. He's Nam. Nick, at last, the festival starts tomorrow. We have to pray to the god of the forest so that we will be safe again this year. Uh, sounds like the forest's not very safe. Maybe you're better off not praying to it. Let's head over to Musa's house. Or Musa's house. I love the music. Very nice, relaxing music. Baku, I wish I could get a break from working at the fields. At least on the day of the festival, but my father won't have it. You'll have to carry your family's legacy sooner or later, right? I'm so sorry for you. What is my family's legacy? I don't know. Your father was a great man. What a pity we've lost him. We must pray to the forest gods so that nothing bad will happen this year. And finally, Nina. The souls of our ancestors return from the forest on the eve of the festival. If you don't get home soon, you could be dragged into the forest too. Uh oh. Not yet though, I want to go and speak to everyone first. I think this is the last place. Let's see what's going on in here. I don't know much, but one thing I do know is the best way to mourn for the dead is to eat good food and live life to the fullest. Okay. The festival of El Elrim 
El Rim, maybe, is a festival for our ancestors. Wow, everyone likes saying the same thing, don't they? We appease the souls of the dead and pray to the god of the forest. Run along home now. Not yet. There's one more person to talk to. Pico. I hear the minstrels are coming again this year. I don't care for their songs, but I can't wait to hear the stories of their journeys. Nice, I think that's everyone. So that is everyone. Let's go back to my home. Is that my bed? Do I need to choose the bed or speak to my mum again? Welcome home. Tonight is a very special Oh, I get to see that bit again anyway. Welcome Let's see what happened to his dad then. Ancestors. I won't but press your anything father this might time. still be alive out there somewhere. So he won't need our welcome. Uh, he's gone off to the forest. Instead, I prayed to the god of the forest for his safety. I know how forgetful you are. Remember to write... Yeah, yeah, I know. Go to bed. Good idea. Good idea. Sweet dreams, my son. I hope his dad is still alive. We got some ominous music. Is he going to have a nightmare? Oh. I don't know who that's on about. Maybe his dad? Because he hasn't run away. How's the sound levels, everyone, anyway? Does it look and sound okay? This is my first time recording a PS1 game, so hopefully I've dialed everything in properly. We get a flashback there scene. You are. What are you up to? Didn't you say we would go listen to the minstrels? Yay, thank you. Okay, thanks, bye. Helmar is waiting. So and hello as well, as it's a first time chat. Thanks for joining. Hopefully you enjoy this game. I'm a bit nervous about playing an RPG on stream because uh, I've never played such a slow style of game before, so hopefully people find this interesting. I'm definitely enjoying what I've played so far. I mean, I barely started, but I'm enjoying the style of it, for sure. Very interesting. Not what I was expecting. I was expecting a Pokemon-style game, if I'm completely honest, so... Let's see where this goes. Rude? Oh, rude kid. I'm gonna chase you into the swirling clouds of doom. Am I gonna wake up? Kid, are you from Cyrus? What are you doing out here? This skunk head. Without the lion of Harold, Cyrus should not have a cocoon master. So you are the son of the lion of Harold. Hmm. Well now. Let's see how you measure up to your lineage. The lion of peril. That must be my dad. Am I the son of a lion? <laughs> dream man! Let's fight the dream man! Nice. Do a backflip to get back. What's the dream man doing? He's turned into a minion. Okay, it's not the weird yellow Cyclops things. It is, uh... <laughs> Meta Ripley. Ridley. And I'm not doing any damage. So I presume this is the kind of fight at the start of RPGs where you're just intended to die to continue the story. I do have the option to use, let's see. There's nothing in there. Summon? Capture? Can't do anything yet. Let's just keep attacking. Quite dramatic music. 
ba 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 bum ba 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 bum Without the power to summon a magic beast, you are no threat to me. Just the son of a coward. <laughs> Again, how rude. Why is everyone being rude to me? Wake up! You cried out in your sleep last night. Are you alright? Aren't you going to go see Mabu today? Didn't you say that you would? They are Who's Mabu? Is that someone I met last night? Can't remember. Was that him? Come quick. That's Kelmar. It's, it's terrible. Oh no. There's a thundering noise coming from the forest. It's gotta be the demons. Oh no! Mabu! She's gone off to the watchtower all by herself. Oh, is that the girl at the start of the if game? It really is demons. She could be in danger. Let's go now. Oh no. Stop talking then. Let's go. We gotta rescue her. There she is. Ooh, nice FMV introduction too. Really love the graphics. Such a cool mix of 3D, 2D, artwork, all sorts of things. Whoa. Okay, that's a lot of dragons. I don't think my dad stands any chance in the forest if he's having to fend off all of them on his own. Oh no. But it's okay. Impa's doing a magic spell. My god. People knew how to make really cool cinematic PS1 games, didn't they? I'm loving this already. Ah. Oh. Hey, Super Galaxy Fist. Another first time chat. Welcome. And yeah, the graphics are amazing so far. I'm completely, honestly blown away by how good this looks. Man, PS1 had so many cool games. I really need to play more PS1 games. Yeah, I love it. Got a very unique feel. For sure. I do have the sequel on the PS2 as well, so if I enjoy this one enough, then maybe, maybe I'll play through the PS2 one on stream at some point in the future. We'll see. But yeah, very excited to see where this is going. This is a really cool introduction too. The beasts of Ooh, now we get some more story. Touched by I'll be quiet for a second. Father, they release a white beast into the forest. Its howl is the requiem of souls. Sounds like a Castlevania title. Hordes of winged insects have broken through the divide barrier. And attacked the village. What can this mean? At long last, has Elrum's day of judgment come to Cyrus? I do not believe that the divine barrier of Gehenna will hold much longer. We must act. Do you not think so, High Priestess Garai? Destruction is often what comes of the beasts of knowledge. This could be an act of man. The minions of the forest could not have broken through the divine barrier on their own. Whatever the cause may be, once the insects flew off, many of our people fell into a sleep from which they cannot wake. We must do something. I deeply regret to say, those winged insects are the Oni Boo Boo, the locusts of Apocalypse. The Oni Boo Boo? I like that name. The dust spread by the Oni Boo Boo plunges all into sleep, returning them to the Earth. I hear the ancient empire of Gahinapale 
was swallowed into the forest by an Onibubu attack. It is a pity, but never again shall they wake. A pity, is it? <laughs> How dare you! The only reason we allowed a wanderer like you to live here is because we believed in the divine magic of the Nagi. But you've let our people fall ill without even trying to help, and still you do nothing. So, your divine magic and spells were all just a hoax. What? You say there is some other way, such as offering some kind of human yeah. sacrifice Is that what she said? Pacify the forest? I don't think that's what she was hinting at. She was just that saying her magic's useless. The source of evil before it came to this, if all it would have taken was a sacrifice. Foolishness. The forest lends no ear to the wishes of man. If you speak the truth, then the evil spirits must be imprisoned, one and all. Both of you, quiet down. Now, Garai, are you saying there is no way to awaken them? The souls of those fallen to sleep wander the dream world. To retrieve their souls and return them to their bodies. Oh, it's like a Lundra. Yes, that's it. Oh, you don't get the to go into their dreams. Herb. You just have to feed them. If oh. only we had the legendary herb, might it not cure the sleep sickness? Well now, Garai, are you not well versed in the ways of the forest? Chieftain, what do you say about sending Garai into the forest? What would that accomplish? I would just be swallowed up and never heard from again. Although, the herb is said to cure the sleep sickness. Well then, tell us if there is some other way. Or are you just going to sit around and let them all die? You always were a stranger among us. Any further sacrifice will be the end of the village. Come on then, let's get to the forest and find the herb to wake everyone up. shall suppress the demons. I'm a cocoon master. The peril is no more. We have little choice. We must send a new cocoon master into the forest. Karai, we must perform the sacred. So union. basically I'm their next sacrifice. Cool. We of the Nagi were born to live together with the cocoon masters. Mabu should not object. It is all for the sake of Cyrus. We are prepared. So, then it is decided. Summon our new cocoon master, the son of the line of peril, and Mabu, maiden of the Nagi tribe. They Have still haven't learnt my name. All of judgment. How do people feel about RPGs where you name yourself, but then the characters never say it? Does that pull you out of the illusion of you being the character? Or do you not really mind? I think it's a bit weird. They should like let you choose from a few set names or something, maybe. In order to cure the sick, the or have like an AI from the forest. voice just for that word. You Who knows? You are a child of a long line of cocoon masters in Cyrus. On this day, the sacred union shall be performed. As the successor to the Lion of Peril, you shall determine the fate of us all. No pressure, then. I believed in your father, Riquettes. 
He was a courageous yet gentle man. I thought he, he was a lion. Swallowed up by the forest when the tide of fortune turned against him. You don't mind too much, but it's annoying he if it's was just silence. Not a coward, as the villagers might have called him. Stand tall and work hard. I wish you luck in your father's stay. Ooh, thank you. Oh yes. Oh yes. Blank. You also, cherish your wife. I have a wife. A devoted husband is a Nagi woman's only salvation. Am I getting married off? You will understand someday. May fortune be with you in battle. Am I getting married to the old witch lady? Ah, that's better. Waifu material. According to tradition, I hereby conduct the sacred union. Are you both ready? I don't think we have a choice. Oh, Elrum, god of the forest. Oh, forest, mother to all. We, the beasts of knowledge born of the forest, once again grant us here this day that which touches and moves thy worried heart, so that we, as beasts may live in harmony with the forest. Oh, so wise. Oh, so wise. This is the earring of the hunter, symbol of your coming of age. As long as you possess it, you may escape death, even when defeated in the forest. It is my farewell gift to he who journeys to the land of ordeal. Would his dad not have had that as well? Now then. If he had the same job that I did, why do people think he's dead? Some people fear cocoon masters and call them impure hunters. Dirty mudblood cocoon masters. Nevertheless. You must persevere in your lonely struggle. A terrible ordeal also awaits the women of the Nagi. The infections on their bodies are the side effects of the cocoon purification process. These are known as cursed brandings. In the worst case, this can even cause death. Oh no. Please. <sighs> Careful Wait, did we get married? Is she already my wife? And in health. Tomorrow your lonely struggle shall begin. Sleep well this night, so that you may be ready to depart come morning. Morning. Come to my house. I really hope the CD doesn't what you need for your journey. jump too much. It did again. Hopefully not. That's the trouble with old CD consoles compared to cartridges. You can have things like that happen with the audio. Hopefully it's okay. Ah, I knew you'd be here. What's the matter? Oh, I bet you're nervous. How do people feel about silent protagonists as well? Do you like that, or do you wish that they spoke as well as the NPCs? So much happened all at once today. I'm worn out. Adults always have to have it their way. That's why I don't like them. But it's strange, isn't it? Why is it that only Nagi women are able to purify? Mother Garai says it's divine power. But it doesn't seem that the villagers think so. Who's up there? And who's playing that awful flute music in the middle of the night? It's the annoying kid again. After what already happened today? Do you want the mo 
monsters to attack again or something? Don't you have work to do tomorrow? Go to bed already! Oh my god, what's this kid's problem? What do you want? Oh, you must be scared. Isn't it past your bedtime? Or are you too afraid to go to sleep? I already told you! I'm not a kid! Try not to get eaten alive out there, tough guy! But I guess there's nothing scarier than Mabu! Ah! You are such a brat! You're making me lose my temper, you little twit! I think she just censored herself well, then. We have an early start tomorrow. Better get to bed. And don't oversleep, young cocoon master. See you tomorrow. No, maybe I'll try and clean the desk before the next stream. I had to look at it, it wasn't scratched. Maybe it's the PS2 that's causing issues. I can swap over to the PS1, maybe that will be better, because the uh, laser isn't quite a hundred percent on the PS2 that I'm using, unfortunately. Even though it's a new PS2 and it's still having the same issue that I had before. According to tradition, I hereby proclaim your coming of age. You're bright from this day forward. I need subtitles. Oh, I can't stop yawning. I need to stop doing these streams so late at night. So you uh. become a man. Still, you are but the son of a coward. Like father, like son. <sighs> that Nagi maiden shall be left behind when you are killed in the forest. How pitiful! Oh no. Am I actually going to be able to fight this guy? Looks like it. He's only got 29 HP. How much does my basic attack do? 9 hit points. Is there no fast forward button? Okay, you can press L1 as well to select stuff too. Weird battle music, it's quite subdued compared to a lot of JRPG music. Now, let's see what sort of leveling up system there is once this guy's dead. Oh, I like that noise. Boom, boom, boom. Impressive. You are more capable than I expected. I did really, really well on that fight. I tried so hard. Hey, there he is. You think you were up to it? Boom, 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 boom. Come on. Come on, dream man. With your infinite health and infinite level. Is he going to one-shot me? Is he going to turn into one of those flying dragon things? Ugh. I don't think there's anything I can actually do yet. Come on, let's get it over with already. Should I try defending instead? I don't know if defending made any difference there. Game over, and I have to play through this half an hour introduction all over again. Ha! Beaten already! And you call yourself a cocoon master. You are nothing but the son of a coward! 
<laughs> Everyone's horrible to me in this game. So sad. White is the beast of fate. Blue is the beast of righteousness. The Blue Cocoon Master. Is that like a new chapter beginning? Or are they just like weird in universe proverbs after each section? Wake up! Wake up, you were shouting in your sleep again. You cried out in your sleep I knew it. last night. Are you all right? From this day Maybe forward, you're scaring me, you staring at me all night. Master of Cyrus, you must be strong. I'll do my best. Now, you had better head over to Mother Garai's house. Mabu is probably waiting for you there, too. Oh. You finally come by, have you? I have something I want to give you right away. Have a seat right here. Soon you will enter the forest as a cocoon master. At the forest entrance, there are four gates through the divine barrier. Pass through them, you must have the right Hopefully that fan up there isn't making too much One noise on the microphone. Cyrus. It is the key to the beetle gate. I presume you can't Neither hear it. Watchtower guard has it. Uh, oh, I missed what she was saying. Once you get the key from Louis, you must go deep into the beetle forest. Another cocoon master lives there. People call him the blue cocoon master. His name is Chorus. He is a very capable man. Finding the Calibus herb is important, but first you must learn to fend for yourself. Okay. Now you have no to get a key and much you can learn from him, for he too is go and visit someone master. in the beetle forest, if I read that right. In the meantime, I have gathered what you will need for your journey. If you need something else, you should go to the town shop. Wounds can only be healed by mugwort herbs. Make sure you have enough. Oh, and do not forget to arm mm. yourself. When your empty cocoons run out, you can get more from Marble. Oh, yes. I almost forgot something very important. This is the flute of capture. Ah, this is the where the Pokemon style and gameplay comes in. To imprison and summon minions. Oh, Toto wants to go outside. Your father, Riquettes, entrusted it to me. A fateful meeting it was. Ah, but perhaps some other time I will tell you all about it. We got the flute. Now we can play Pokemon. And some supplies. Let's see. I have already spoken with Louis. Now, go to the Watchtower hut and get the key to the Beetle Gate. From the forest entrance, you will find the Divine Barrier Gate. And then on to the beetle forest. God speed to you. Good speed to you, Blank. Let's go, Blank. So now you're going into the forest. I don't know why, but I'm a little worried. There's something shiny on the floor. Oh, it's a save point. But if worse comes to worse, you can always worst use the comes earring to of the blah. hunter to return home safely. The earring of the hunter. But first, let's save. And then I can check out all the new stuff in my inventory. I 
31 minute introduction. That's quite long. Okay. Are we finally going to start this? We have to go to a watchtower hut and get a key so that we can enter the beetle forest. Wait a sec. Not yet, though. Got more cutscenes. Here. This is a ring given to me by the Nagi chieftain when I was born. It's very special to me. I should have given it to you before, but... Isn't she coming with me? When I wear this ring, somehow I feel at peace. I hope it helps you too. Well, is she care, okay? is she proposing to me? Tears of Reese. Um Oh, it's really nothing, but I'll be thinking about you. Hmm. <laughs> Don't invite her along, just nod and walk off. Okay, cool. We got some other new places to visit. A lot of new places. I kind of want to take my time with this, so let's go and check out some of the other places that weren't there on the uh, first trip round. Let's go and see what's in here. Oh, that's where I just was. Okay. Not there, then. Let's go to the blacksmith, although I don't think I've got any money yet, so I don't know whether I'll be able to buy any uh, weapons or armor or anything, but let's see what he has to say. Dot, dot, dot. Huh? What is it? If you're looking for Kelmar, he's here. This is just great. Where could he be running off to now? Come back some other time if it's a strong weapon you want. It's been so long since I made a weapon for a cocoon master. But even if you had one, would you know how to use it? Why is everyone so mean to me? Really, he's so unfriendly, isn't he? He is, thank you. Someone backs me up here. His hands are skilled, but his tongue is not. Why well, you tell him? Our son will never find a good bride with a father like you. They're both so stubborn. Aren't you even listening to me? <laughs> I didn't think I would get in the middle of a argument between a husband and wife. Oh dear. As you can see, he has a hard head, but he is the best blacksmith in all of Peril. Is he going to give me a weapon though? Never That's the question. Weapons. Come again. Why? I want one now. Why won't he give me one now? He doesn't trust me. I don't have anything good for you, but you, but can, you can buy, buy what, I've what I've already made. Okay. Let's see what he's got. Um, apparently, I already have a knife, but I can get a dagger, which increases my attack by one. Or I can try and save up a little bit. Oh, I've already got a dagger. It's just not equipped. Why is that not equipped if that's better? Or I can get a leather vest. Give me a little bit of defense. And other. I can also buy a headband for 100. I think I might try and save up and get that bronze sword instead. But it's good to know that he is willing to sell me some weapons. Weapon. Okay. Let's come back to him later. Let's go and check out somewhere else. Let's check out the town shop. I'm guessing this is where you can buy things like potions or herbs or what have you. Or herbs, as this game calls them. Oh, are you not going to talk? Oh my, how nice. It's been so long since we've had a cocoon master. Let me know if there's anything you need. What can we get from here? Yes, mugwort. Or shab liquor. Mm, okay. Do we have a description? No? And valerian powder. I have one of those, apparently. And three mugworts. That must be what the lady gave me for my uh, rucksack. Where's my boy gone off to now? Maybe he was listening to the minstrels in the town square. Or village square. Alright, well, we know where the shop is. Let's check out the chief's estate. Sure. If he hasn't got any security. Let's just go straight in, shall we? 
I love these um, pre-rendered backgrounds. They look really nice. Kind of giving me mist vibes in a way. With this weird atmosphere to everything. Ooh, okay, sorry. Am I interrupting your sleep? Let's talk to this lady here. Tao. This is the shelter for those who have fallen into a slumber by the Onibubu. Ah, okay. So not everyone then. These are the people i got to bring the main herb back to. I forgot what it was called, though. Anything else down here? No. Oh. Yes, there is. It just took a minute to decide if it was going to let me go there or not. None shall pass without the chief's invitation. Okay. I'm guessing the chief isn't here. I do like this music. Let's go to the silk mill then. Is this where you buy different clothes, perhaps? <laughs> oh, I was here before as well. Your mum hasn't showed up today. Is this where she works? So the fate of the village has been entrusted to the traitor's child. Why was he a traitor? You're so young to be fighting those demons. I haven't fought any demons yet, outside of my nightmares. They say Fio's son has assumed the title of Cocoon Master. So he is to be the one who will search for the herb. I hope he's up to it. A little worried, huh? What do you expect? My own son has fallen ill, you know? Yeah, but so it will be the Maubu who... Maubu? 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 Who performs purifications then? Yes, yes, that's the problem, and that strange sickness. I wonder if that's a curse, too. No, we shouldn't talk like this. It'd be terrible if someone heard us. We could be struck down by magic. Now that would be unfortunate. I bet your husband wouldn't mind if that happened. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha, dot dot dot. <laughs> yeah. I think her husband wants her dead. Let's see. Your mother isn't here yet. Does she come here to gossip with all the ladies? Now you're heading into the forest. Good luck. We're counting on you. If you're ever in a bind, come speak with us anytime, honey. My, my. So your husband falls ill and already you've abandoned him for a younger man. Hee hee hee. Hey, that's enough of that. Sorry, Nick. You better be on your way. Okay. I don't want to get these girls into any more trouble. Let's leave them to their own business. Alright, see you guys. Is there anything on the left there? Ooh, there is. A secret passage. With nothing there. And it won't let me go any further. It's cool that you can go in between the background and the foreground. That was the sunk mill. Let's go back to the watchtower in the day for the first time. Let's see if there's anything going on there in the day. Hey, it's the annoying kid. I heard what Louis. I said. But I don't like any of it. I mean, you of all people. Just because Rakets is your dad. You'll just go into the forest and get eaten. Oh my god, sent this kid into the forest. Is your flute really that powerful? That's so lame. I'll go get the calabash myself. Just wait right here. No can do, little guy. Oh my god, I thought that was me talking then. It's the giant oh, yeah. Kelma. But you can't go. You can seek your revenge at some other time. Besides, you know how scary the forest is, right? And how little we can do there. I think you should just let him go, honestly. You tell him. Is that it? Am I afraid to leave? Shouldn't you be talking to Louis rather than me? Why? I don't want to talk to him. Kelmar is right. You can go do it. Here's the beetle key. The chief Finally. Key to look after. With it, my 
is the fate of the village. Why did they entrust it to that stupid kid? If he was so desperate to go and get it himself, he would have just gone there. Deep inside the forest. He's a powerful cocoon master. And he might know something about that herb. I know. There we go, I got the key. Look. Try to understand how he feels. Ever since his parents were killed in the forest. Oh, now you're gonna make me feel feel bad for him. He may be cocky, but in his own way, he's just trying to be a man. He's trying to be a man. But he's not! He's just an annoying kid! <sighs> Get out of here before I change my mind! Jeez, okay, okay, I'm going. My god. I'm sorry if it's a bit boring me going through all this, but I want to make sure I don't miss anything. It's terrible, the insects have ravaged our fields. Oh no. I'll take care of them with my powerful flute. This is all because of what happened yesterday. So will you enter the forest? We're counting on you. You're our only hope. I will enter the forest eventually, but before that I'm visiting everyone's houses. Before the hero's journey begins. Before Joseph Campbell once again tells his story. We're off to the cemetery first though. Oh dear. What are we doing here? Enjoying a, some nice FMV backgrounds. That's what. It's Poto. Hi, oh, he did talk. I was about to do it for him. Those clothes become you. You look just like Oh my god, this voice. Do you want to hear my stories? Sure. Let's hear one of the old man's stories, shall we? There's some more nice music. Oh my god, that voice! <laughs> and the uh, very grainy video. Oh no. Wandering aimlessly about, he happened upon a marsh from which grew an enormous tree. Thereupon he heard the sound of sobbing, but he knew not from where. He found a maiden sitting all alone. She was weeping by the marsh. I am Alcana. I just buried my mother here in the marsh of Uban. Oh my god, who hired this guy for this voice? <laughs> oh man. By her beautiful eyes. The maiden stole his heart that day. It was truly a fateful meeting. Thereafter, the prince made frequent trips into the forest. Undoubtedly, he was paying visits to the maiden. The maiden had a strange power. She could talk to the insects and trees. Before long, there began a terrible rumor that the prince's heart had been stolen by a witch. One day, the maiden spun silk from fairy cocoons and wove it into a beautiful cloth for the king. But the brilliance of that cloth cast a shadow upon the kingdom. The king was so enthralled by the fairy silk that he sent his soldiers into the forest where they ravaged for fairy cocoons. Fairies still in their cocoons were boiled alive. Oh my god. The king killed them so he could have their silk. The prince pleaded with his father to stop his cruelty. But the king was no longer the man he had once been. Prince Menek was charged with treason and imprisoned in the king's deepest dungeon. He was never heard from again. When the maiden learned of the prince's death, she 
cursed her fate and lamented the foolishness of man. She then cast herself away into the marsh where her mother lay. As she started to drown, a voice from nowhere whispered to her, I am Elrum. I shall grant you your wish. Tell me what you want, said the voice. The maiden told Elrum all that weighed upon her heart. The maiden said, Greed bears destructive knowledge. Its wicked power shall be the end of the forest. Our hope is lost. The beasts of knowledge shall never live in peace with the forest. The one light of hope who I so loved has perished at the hands of the beast. I now go to where my love, Menek, awaits. Thereupon, Elrum spoke again. So you claim that your true love was torn asunder by the greed and hatred of the beasts of knowledge? When light is swallowed up by darkness, I shall unleash ruin upon the land, returning all to the nothingness from whence it came. I have a firm grip upon the darkness in your heart. From that day forward, demons appeared in the forest, terrifying all they came upon, and the kingdom of Gehenapali fell to ruin by the swarms of Onibubu, locusts of apocalypse. The demons that haunt the forest now are the beasts spawned by the greed in man's heart. Once upon a time, this forest was a paradise for the divine spirits who served Elrim, the god of the forest. The forest people are the incarnation of Mammon, the divine spirit of knowledge. When the divine spirits created man, it was Mammon who bestowed knowledge upon them. But man used his knowledge for the pursuit of ruin. In the end, Gehenna was destroyed because man aroused Elrim's wrath. Bestowing knowledge upon man troubled Mammon greatly. In order to prevent the mortals from causing further destruction, to this day he lives in the forest, protecting it from the foolish ways of man. If you act not in destructive ways, surely Mammon shall bestow upon you valuable knowledge. We are in good hands with you as our cocoon master. Once upon a time in a oh my god, how long does this go on for? I swear his voice is getting more and more strained as well as this goes on. It is said that the woodcutter wanted to test his own strength by felling the tallest tree in the forest. He hastily ventured deep into the forest in Well, I hope you're all enjoying the old man's stories anyway. The great tree of the or the in-game explanation as to why there's loads of enemies in the forest. And he continued to sigh. And before long, the breath of the great tree became a thick and heavy fog which shrouded the forest. The woodcutter soon lost his way. He grew so tired wandering about that he soon took a short rest. Just then, sweet smelling fluffs began to float down from above. All who would smell their sweet scent would fall fast asleep. The woodcutter couldn't help but to fall in a deep slumber, and there he lay. Snoring great snores in the middle snoring of Snoring great snores. But That's what I'll be doing after this stream's over. On the morning of the fourth day, a bird man flew down to where he lay. He spoke to him. I'm the strongest, you always say. One fight with me, if you may. But the woodcutter remained fast asleep. You can try to sleep if you must, but I shall wake you with my dust. As he spoke those words, the birdman sprinkled a glistening white powder upon the woodcutter. 
With that, the woodcutter sneezed a great sneeze and jumped to his feet. The surprised woodcutter shouted, Who on earth are you? I warn you, I am incredibly strong, and I will battle right now. The birdman replied, You can't defeat me, but if you do, we can be friends and I'll share my power. <laughs> what is this story? What is going on here? Sounds like a drug dealer. The Yamu. The woodcutter tried to grab the birdman. But the woodcutter had been asleep for three days. He was too hungry to hold on. With one flap of his mighty wings, the birdman flew the woodcutter all the way back to the village. The woodcutter told the villagers all about the strange birdman. And they all thought he was mad. Yep. From that day on, the woodcutter never again boasted of his strength. Okay. The point being, stay humble. The divine tree. Oh my god, there's more. It is the earthly form of Elrim, god of the forest. Said that all in this land began with that tree, but no mortal has ever laid eyes upon it. That is, except for he, prophet of the Nagi. Is that where the game is going to end? Under the giant tree. It looked just like a huge tree that had been turned upside down. That is why it is also called the Upside Down Tree. Nagi legend says that their accursed fate shall be released when the dragons of night and darkness appear before the Divine Tree. I am the Nagi prophet, Ki. I see the future through the words of God. Oh, there's something weird going on with the screen there. The one who shall lead our accursed nature to repose. That brave stature. It is just as the hunter. It's doing that on the screen behind me as well. Our legends. That hunter shall be known as. You can see the other screen behind me. There. The curse shall not be lifted until we are led to eternal repose. May the protection of Erlen be his. I wonder what's going on there. The rest of the video has been fine. I am the Nagi prophet, e. Okay. Weird. The end went a bit weird there. Well, oh no, everything's I going a bit weird. Busy, but come by any time. I shall always be here. I think I better go and save and take the disc out. Oh no, it's fine now. That was very strange. It just didn't like that video. Maybe it wasn't supposed to play them all back to back like that. Has anyone seen that happen before? Any idea why that might happen? I better go and save again just in case. Um. Let's go back and save. Yeah, that was really weird. I've never experienced anything like that before. Again, that's what you get for playing games on a CD, I suppose. They won't last forever. Where are we off to now? Village Square, I guess. We're almost there. Then we can venture out into the forest. I suppose I should do the voices. We came to sing happy songs, today being the festival. But such a terrible thing has happened. We shan't leave this village with the things the way they are. We shall stay here until the trouble subsides. How can you say that? I'll not stay here and die with them. By the way, you're dressed. 
By the way you're dressed, not by the way you're dressed, like, oh my god, he's he's actually got clothes on, no. By the way you're dressed, you must be a cocoon master. What's this? Is not the Lion of Perel the cocoon master here? So, the rumours are true. Well then, a lot of people are counting on you, aren't they? But you're still so young, aren't you? I'll do my best. Is that all we get to do here? Is that what the town was so excited about, with the minstrels coming to play music? It was literally just those two old men. Anything back here? No. I wonder what the point of that was. It let you walk all the way around it. Are they just showing off? Okay. That's it, I guess. On to the forest gates, and we can use that key to go into the beetle forest, I believe it was called. Got some cool music. Boom, 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 boom. Oh no. Get away from me. Hey, loser! Why bother following me just to call me a loser? You're the loser. Kelmar was worried, so he asked me to show you the way. I'm sure I can find my own way. Uh, it's a straight I'm path. Sorry for you, so I'll lead you there just this once. Don't forget how to get there and try to keep up. All right, all right. I would do if the loading times between the screens weren't so bad. Okay. This is the divine barrier. How could I not find that? It's literally a straight path. You've already told me that anyway. Okay. What are is there more stuff then? Boom ba boom ba boom boom ba boom ba boom boom ba boom ba boom boom ba boom ba boom. There's another save point right there. I didn't need to worry. Okay, I guess I just have to come over here. This is where he told me to go. Whoa! Someone's waiting for me on the other side. Who are you? I have seen poachers who impersonate cocoon masters. I'm the real deal, dude. If you are a real cocoon master, show me by playing that flute. Slowly now. I will play my flute very slowly for you, sir. of Cyrus? If the son of Riquettes has been sent into the forest, the village must be in danger. Tell me what has happened in Cyrus. I see. So the Onibubu have reached Cyrus as well. And you came to search for the Calabas herb, huh? <laughs> but, uh, you're flute playing. You don't know anything yet, do you? <laughs> What's wrong with my flute playing? Your father would Why is everyone so rude? If I just let you go into the forest to die. I am Chorus, the Blue Cocoon Master. On behalf of my comrade Riquettes, I shall initiate you to the arts of the Cocoon Masters. Does everything sound okay on stream? It's showing up as my microphone being louder than the game, even when I'm not talking. So, is there any sort of background noise or anything? Obviously, I can't hear it with my headphones on, so I don't really know what's going on, but the... Uh... Yeah, weird. The game's only showing up at, like, minus 45. I presume it's all okay, because someone told me it was earlier. I don't think anyone's actually watching now. You've probably just got it on in the background. But if you are listening, please let me know whether it sounds okay. Because it's showing, even when I'm not talking, that the microphone's louder than the game, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, let's go through these. Attack and defense. 
The minions of the forest are full of melancholy and are thus very dangerous. What? How does melancholy make someone dangerous? It's our task to capture them, but first, they must be weakened. It is for this purpose only that you would attack with a weapon. Let's have you learn the basics by actually fighting a minion. I'm ready. Show me what to do. Have you any mugwort herb? For after a fight, wounds and exhaustion must not be ignored. Use this now. I don't know what's going on with the microphone. I'm guessing it's fine. I'll listen back later and find out. Looks like it's been really sensitive picking something up. Start off with an attack. Slice deep into the monster. Yes, no need to hold back. Okay. Is it the fan? Right, the fan's turned off now. Oh, maybe that was what it was. Does that sound better? Attacking is the basic tactic for damaging the enemy, but it will not stop a counter-attack. And it will especially do no good if you're fighting multiple opponents or a single powerful enemy. Now try to defend yourself. By defending, you decrease the damage you receive, but but doing only this lets the enemy attack at will. Balancing attacks with defense against your enemy is crucial. Now then, how can you fight without losing health? Items like mugwort herb, which restore your health, are very useful indeed. Now try using your mugwort herb during combat. This is all very basic stuff. But I have to learn, apparently. No matter how much you attack, sooner or later you will lose all your health if you keep taking damage. But using a mugwort herb will help you recover. Understand? Yes, I understand. I have played a game before. Attacking is the most important technique in battle. Continue to battle while restoring your strength as long as you still have mugwort herbs. However, if you run out of mugwort and your health is running low, then run! Then it is better to retreat than defend. Or retreat, as this game calls it. These are the basic rules of combat. But remember, the mission of the Cocoon Master is not to kill, but to soothe souls. No matter how furious or You haven't taught me how to do that yet. Be, you must not kill. Killing will bring you nothing. Yeah, tell that to Peter. The Take Animal protection people. Hard work. They must like this game. They're telling you not to kill animals, not like Pokemon. The path of training is a difficult one. Uh, okay, let's try capture next. The sound of your flute shall soothe the minions. Let's see how we do this Pokemon business. Is known as capturing. Let's have you learn the basics by fighting a minion. I'm ready. Show me what to do. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. I like the intro to the battle music more than the music itself. Begin by weakening him. It will do you no good if you uh, play your flute right away. The minion rages uncontrollably. The sound of your flute cannot touch his heart like this. First, you must let him know who's boss. Attack him. What about if I critical hit? Oh my god, I almost did. Yikes. Once they've been weakened about this much, try to capture them. Try it now. It's just like throwing a Pokeball. Uh, 
I thought it was just going to play the flute. What is he actually doing? Oh, he is. Gonna play the flute with your arm in the air. Okay, now I see the comparisons to Pokemon are justified. Well, that's it, more or less. Your success with capturing depends on your skill with the flute. And the only way to improve is to imprison as many minions as you can. You won this time because I used a weak minion. In reality, you won't have it so easy. Train hard and work on your flute play. In time, capturing minions will become easier for you. And you can only carry so many empty cocoons with you. Each time a capture fails, you lose one. It would be wise to return to the village if you run out. The minion you just captured is my gift to you. However, it is useless until it is purified. Oh no, it's like Pokemon Coliseum then. Okay, tell me about purification. Trapping a minion in a cocoon will not soothe its spirit. It requires purification. If you are a cocoon master, you must have taken a Nagi woman as your bride in the sacred union. Have your wife purify a firefly cocoon. It will then become a white cocoon. Once it becomes a white cocoon, you can summon the minion into- Ah, uh, I zoned out a bit then. What happened? You gotta become a white cocoon and then something, something, something. Let me ask again. Simply trapping a minion. Requires purification. If you're a cocoon you're master, you master. You must have taken a Nagi woman as your bride in the sacred. I did get married. I told you. I got married. Firefly cocoon. Have your wife purify a firefly and it will become a white cocoon. Okay. Once it becomes a white cocoon. And then you can summon it. Oh. Weird. What happened there? Let's try summoning. The uh, signal just cut out for a second. Because we have the power to summon magical minions. In order to beckon these minions, we must translocate our earthly vessels. In other words, the minions fight in our stead. Mesmerized by the sound. Mesmerized. After all. We are but beasts of knowledge, no match for the minions deep in the forest. That means we must fight minion with minion. However, you may only take three magical beasts with you at a time. Oh, less than Each Pokemon, then. possesses one of four distinct elemental properties. Keep the following relationships in mind. Okay. Earth repels water. Water extinguishes fire. Fire eliminates air, and wind whittles away earth. I will take a screenshot. Oh no, I missed it! Oh no, I didn't, it's okay. I got it! There we go, there is my strategy. I will keep it in mind at all times. Tell me what merging is. beasts gain strength through victory in battle. And by merging different beasts together, they will become even stronger. Try it once you have obtained a few. Your wife shall merge them for you. Get my wife to do Before, everything. That while merging does pass on characteristics of both beasts. I'm gonna add Jade Cocoon onto Backloggery. Now playing. For this is the one thing I cannot teach you. You must master this process yourself. I've got to try... Uh, breeding the minions, okay. Little did they know in the 2000s that would sound very wrong. Very well. Now, you must try to apply what you have learned. I will try. My cottage is deep inside this forest. If you arrive there safely, you shall receive my approval. And if I don't? <laughs> oh, son of the Lion of Peril, you shall become a cocoon master worthy of your father's name. Oh my god, is he the only guy who actually believes in me in this whole game? Is that it? Is he just going to stand there? You seem hesitant. <clears throat> I don't know which way to go. I understand. 
I thought you would run off back to your little cottage. But you must complete the test on your own. And why are you still here then? I don't have anything more to ask you. Is it this way? <coughs> I think it was the gate behind me. I'm just clearing up backloggery at the same time while he was talking to me. There's a... Is that a minion? Is that what they call a minion? It's a pata... Pata ML. Oh, I just had a reminder for something very exciting on eBay, do you want to say? It's, uh, it's going for £450. It is the extremely rare... I don't know whether you want to see that on camera. The extremely rare English Digimon for the Wonderswan. English version. It only ever came out in Hong Kong. And it is £450 and 13 postage. And no, I'm not buying it, but I was just very surprised to see it. Let's see, can we get one more? No, I'm not buying it. I am buying some cool Wonder Swan stuff though. Off the uh, Japanese. I don't know what you call it. One of those stores that lets you buy from things like uh, Yahoo Auctions and things in Japan. I ordered a bunch of interesting stuff on there recently. Let's try one more attack for the Wonder Swan. But the website's awful. It doesn't load half the time, like you just get a white screen. I'll let it load in the background. Okay, let's try and capture this thing. There is one that's running out in 10 hours as well that I'm kind of tempted to put a bid on. It's £36 at the minute. It is... Man, this is so slow. Why is it so slow? Yeah, Bayi is what I was using. You probably can't see it very well, but... It is a magical drop in the puzzle game. Oh god, you can't see anything on this phone. Focus on the phone, not me. It doesn't want to focus. Oh my god, it really doesn't want to focus. Block me out completely. No, <laughs> I give up. It just wants to focus on me up close. Why can I do that? Don't look at me, look at that. There you go. You can kind of see it there. That's something that I might be bidding on soon. And by, But I also bought a bunch of other things too. Capture level up. Okay, so do you actually level up in this game by capturing things? Minions list. You bought some awesome GBA games. What did you get? If it loads package info, I'll tell you what I picked up recently. Should be arriving in the uh, storeroom soon. No, oh, it's too slow. I'm going to get back to playing this anyway. Yeah, what GBA games did you buy? It's kind of cool music, but it's also kind of subdued compared to a lot of JRPGs. It's quite... Interesting background music. I hope there's other battle themes as we play through the game. Oh wow, nice. I want to get the Demi Kids games. They've been on my list for a long time. Klonoa 2 is cool. I enjoy the Klonoa GBA games a lot. So, I don't get it. Am I supposed to be trying to capture all of these bugs? Or am I supposed to be killing them? Am I supposed to capture again? Because the warrior guy at the start of this forest told me not to kill enemies. So I don't know whether I'm supposed to be doing this every time or not. Yeah, Demi Kids is kind of out of my price range now, unfortunately. 
Same with the Summoning Knight, the Summoning Knight Saga games for the GBA as well. I wanted to get them for so long and the prices for them are going up so much too, annoyingly. Because they look really cool. I really want to play them. Did I do it right? I don't know. Well, my experience went up, so I guess that's a good sign. Let's keep on going through the forest. Oh, nice. Lucky you got them when you did. They never came out in the UK, so I've never really had the chance to play them before. So I didn't really know to look for them until I think someone on YouTube recommended it on my GBA video. And I was like, ah, oh, damn it. Why is everything I'm being recommended so damn expensive? It's so frustrating, isn't it? Why is everything so expensive these days? What is that? Am I supposed to be on here? Oh, cool. You face the same issues I do, then. I'm not alone in wishing that things were cheaper over here. I mean, it's not just games, is it? Everything's getting too expensive. Can I pick the mushrooms up? Is there a map or anything? I don't really... I don't have a map or a menu or anything. Okay, I have a menu. I can see some stats. I can see the three monsters that I picked up, I guess. Although when I click it, I can't do anything. I can use one of those herbs to heal me back up. Detail. I have nine empties. I guess that means I've got nine Pokeballs, basically. And I have... Oh yeah, I've got that dagger, which is slightly more powerful. I also have a Hunter's Vest, and nothing else in that slot. And I have a Hunter's Earring, which is the thing, the thing that lets me go back to the town. And I have Knowledge, oh, which is basically what I just took a screenshot of. You did find a pretty cool GBA game on a flea market two weeks ago. Nice, I never have any luck at markets recently. Not that I've been to one in a while, but I remember the last one I went to, I was quite disappointed. What did you find? Let's kill this scabe. Oh, I suppose I'm not supposed to kill it. Let's catch this scabe. Weird monster designs. I think the problem for me is I've already got all the common GBA games, which means that if there is something I was still after that I found at a boot sale or something, I would be super excited, but the chances of that are getting slimmer and slimmer. Oh wow, that's a cool find. I used to love that game on the PC back in the day. Very weird game, very fast paced from what I remember. Even cooler that you found it at CIB as well. Oh my god, can I not skip this animation? Do I have to watch this every time? We got another one. I have to take them to my wife and purify them. Apparently. Capture level up, whatever that means. There's no map or anything. Oh wow, that's the best when you find someone who doesn't care about what they've got. Then you feel kind of bad for paying <laughs> ridiculously low prices for the thing, don't you? But what can you do? If they don't care, you're doing them a favour by taking it off their hands, technically. Hey, if anyone watching has actually played this game before, am I doing this right? Am I supposed to be capturing all of the monsters that I find? Five euros, wow. I don't know how much it's going for, completing box, like 70 euros maybe? Maybe even more than that. Whereabouts in Europe are you? No 
not far from me. That's either France or Spain then, I guess. Or Ireland? Maybe? Oh, Belgium. Cool. Never been to Belgium. Should I go? Should I pay you guys a visit? What's exciting in the land of retro gaming over in Belgium? Have you got any cool retro gaming shops or any arcades or anything over there? Obviously, if I ever visited anywhere, that would be the first thing on my list, is to find a good game shop. Not terrible, then. I've heard there's a good one in, in Paris, but I'm tempted to try and pay a visit one day. Oh, nice. I would like to try and go to some conventions outside of the UK sometime. That would make for a fun video as well. I know there's a good one in Norway, I think. That I want to try and go to. Retro Spiel Messen. A lot of cosplay. I think everywhere has a lot of anime and cosplay stuff these days. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. I guess that's part of the challenge. Weird, Circle brings up the menu. What does that do? It won't let me do it. This item is for the minions. I can't use any of them. Oh nice, what cosplays have you done? I used to do some, but I haven't done any in ages now. Not since I started my job, really. Ah, nice. It's always fun to do cosplay, isn't it? Do you build all the stuff yourself as well? The best one I ever did was with my girlfriend as well, and it was Pit and Pit 2, and we had giant, like, angel wings coming out the back of us on, like, uh, metal wires and stuff. It was so cool. But it was very difficult to walk around in London in the uh, MCM London at the XL wearing that it was a challenge but it was fun I also did um, a Link group cosplay for uh, Four Swords when Four Swords Four Swords anniversary came out on the 3DS we all did a Four Swords cosplay with all the different colours that was cool And what else? Luigi a few times. And Gary Oak with his spiky grey hair. And someone else was Professor Oak and we had a Misty. It's the big Pokemon group too. Many years ago that one was. Oh nice, lots of proper anime characters then. I haven't actually done any anime stuff, it's all been from games. The next one I was thinking was someone from Resident Evil. From the new the newest film that came out recently. You should cos cosplay the main character from Jade Cocoon. I bet no one would know it. What am I picking up? Say. Knowledge 2. Higher attack and mana values result in more effective normal special and magic attacks. The higher your speed, the more turns you receive to attack your enemy. Okay. 
While poisoned, your physical and magical uh, magic damage decrease, and you do less damage. You also lose HP at the start of your turn. Okay, pretty basic knowledge. Okay, we got some new little weird uh, monster things. Oh no, ad break. Do I have to do sign language for you? No. I was just saying that the Resi film was actually surprisingly good. The, I can't remember what it was called now. It was the latest CG one that came out a few weeks ago. I quite enjoyed it. It wasn't anything amazing, but it was a pretty fun story. I was going to cosplay the main bad guy, so if you see it, you'll know him. A professor who went crazy. That reminds me, I need to finish Resi 4 Remake. I'm right at the end, and for whatever reason I stopped playing it. I was literally just before the door to the final boss, and then we went on holiday for two weeks, and then something else happened and we were working on the house, and I just completely forgot to go back to it. So, I will definitely get back to that scene. Oh, nice. I don't really know much about Overwatch, but I'm sure that'll be a really popular one. Yeah, I think I could get back to it. I also need to get back to playing Twilight... Uh, not Twilight Princess, what am I on about? Tears of the Kingdom. I keep stopping that game because I only have like a few hours a week to game <laughs> and I just keep forgetting what I'm meant to be doing every time I go back to it and I just wander around and end up back at the same place so it's just really frustrating so I kind of gave up playing that in exchange for Pikmin which is a lot easier to just pick up as and when which I'm having a lot more fun oh cool good luck with that then Just have fun with the cosplay, that's all that matters. I did something, I got to level 4. And we've gone straight into another fight. I still don't know whether I'm actually supposed to be killing or capturing these. After this stream I might have a look online and find out if I'm doing this right or not, because I don't want to waste all the cocoon shells if I don't need to. Uh, why did he have to heal all the way back? You haven't played Tears of the Kingdom, even though you got it on release date. Don't worry, I picked up um, Final Fantasy 16 on release date and that hasn't even been opened up yet. So, you're not alone in not playing games <laughs> on release day, and I feel really bad for that, because I was excited for Final Fantasy 16, and I've just found no time. And then Pikmin 4 came out, and I ended up going around to that instead. Oh, hey Rob, how are you doing? I'm enjoying it. Yeah, the, uh, the intro was very interesting. I loved all the different characters and the backstory and stuff, and now I'm just, just heading off into the forest on my own adventure, trying to prove my worth. As you've played it before, M plays, can you tell me am I supposed to be capturing all the creatures that I find? Or am I supposed to be killing some because at the moment all I've done is capture everything that I've came across. If you have a look over here, here's all the things that I've got so far. Am I supposed to be doing it that way? Because from what I can tell I'm supposed to be taking them back to get purified or something. Okay. I am doing it right then. That's good. Because the guy at the start told me not to kill all the enemies. But I thought I might be wasting all of my cocoons if I end up using them all up here. But I guess you can use them for breeding and stuff, which is what the game was trying to tell me earlier. But yeah, enjoying it. The graphics are really nice. I'm very impressed with the with the graphics. It's got a pretty nice soundtrack too. And surprisingly good voice acting for the time, so yeah, 
so far it's a winner all round. I'm going to play it for maybe another hour tonight and then maybe do another stream on the weekend before Tuesday. Yeah, I saw that. A bit strange considering the PS1 uh, Aperscape's already out, right? I've never really played any of them before outside of the first one, though. Would you say it's worth picking up? It's not really a series I've ever thought that much about, but I, I like the concept of it, and the graphics are nice. The, the only voice actor so far that I've been a little bit confused about was the old man sitting by the tree who tells you all of his stories. He had a very, very strange voice. Like that. And the stories went on and on for like 15 minutes, maybe. So that was a bit uh, off-putting. But apart from that, the voices have all been great, which is which is very cool. Especially for a game from the 90s. Very impressed. I will say that I wish you could skip these scenes. Because this... Uh, if you have to watch this every time, it might get a little bit annoying. We did it! We got another monster. Oh, they're not called monsters, are they? Okay, cool. No, I didn't know who she was. Now we have some different coloured monsters up here. Shall we go and take on this weird red and blue snake thing? Oh, there's two! I haven't fought two at once yet. I might need to take another herb soon. Hopefully I'm not venturing too far into the forest. I don't want to die. Is he going to poison me? Is that why I picked up that knowledge slab? Let's try just focusing on one at a time here. Oh no, I've been poisoned. It warned me about that. <clears throat> Let's use a herb. Oh no, it's my last one. I might have to escape back to the town after this fight. Have I picked up Cassette Beasts? No, I haven't. The only new game I got this month was Pikmin, actually. Which I've been really enjoying, but I'm trying to buy less games because I just do not have the time to uh, to play that many different games, so I end up just buying them and never playing them. My job at the minute is just crazy, so I've even been working a bit of overtime on that, and then any free time that I get outside of work is focused on trying to grow the YouTube channel at the minute. Oh, I have no cocoons. Okay. I guess I got no choice but to kill these guys, unfortunately. <laughs> what else have you picked up this month then? Anything interesting? I don't know what that does. I'm going to try it. Is that antidote? Oh no, it didn't give me any extra health though. I think I'm going to have to run from this fight. If I can. Oh no! Ah, I'm dead! Please don't reset me. I think it's just going to take me back to the town anyway, isn't it? Is that what they said that ring was for? I'm going to get kicked out. Oh no. Do I get to keep the stuff that I captured though? I really hope so. Well, we're back. Let's see. Okay, I kept my capture experience. And, thank God, I kept all the fireflies as well. Let's save. And we can head back and try and get some of these purified. And I guess that means that you can go back in and use them to your advantage by summoning them. Which is uh, kind of like... Golden Sun style with the Jin creatures, maybe? Still trying to figure everything out here. Uh, let's go back to... Where do I need to go? My home? I don't even think the girl lives there. She's probably got her own house. I've only ever seen her in the Watchtower. Is your work going well? Not really. I just died. Take this. You can never have enough. 
Yay, thank you. How many did she give me? Just one. Is that it? Okay, i got to find out where I can go to take these to purify. Yay, you got Pikmin as well. Have you played it much yet? I'm... I think I'm near the end. I've, uh, I've got back to the house and opened up the safe. If that means anything to you. Don't overdo it until Without you get any better at hunting, all right? I did overdo it. Try talking with Mother Garai if there's something you don't understand. No, I know what I'm doing. But I'd watch out. Her stories can be long and boring. But don't tell her I said that. Aww. I think she can hear you. She's sat right next to you. Oh, you completed the main story. Wow. How do you have so much free time? Okay, let's purify these. Let's see what she can do. And for the tormented, we pray. Grant us, the beasts of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. My favourite thing about Pikmin 4 is the Dan Bori challenges. I think they're so fun. I love doing them. I keep re replaying them to get the platinum medal every time I find one. I still think overall I preferred Pikmin 3 as a game. And I am very tempted after I finish Pikmin 4 to pick up Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Because I only played it on the Wii U. But maybe there's more interesting stuff after the main game, but I have found the entire thing very, very easy so far. Like, you don't need to worry about how many Pikmin you've got at all, really. It's so simplified compared to the first three games, I think. But apart from that, it's really good. I love the graphics. Love all the different characters that you rescue and that go back to the main world and stuff. So good. I'll keep these here with me. Just tell me when you need them. So... Oh god, what does all this mean? Spin. If you spin the cocoon into silk, you can sell it at the village store. Select two equipped minions to merge together. Oh yeah, I love Otachi as well. He's so cool. Um, uh, where are they then? She... Oh, okay, they're down here. So I get to pick these. Let's just uh, pick the one with the best attack. And you. Oh, okay. Water, fire, earth, and air as well. Should probably get a good selection. View form. Oh, okay. That's how you can see him. Nice. You can zoom in on him as well. Whoa, he's so big. Look at him. Ah. Cool. Oh, you have to pick them one at a time. So that was a water one. Let's move over a fire one as well. And... Let's choose this guy. Let's see what they look like. He's that weird grasshopper thing. He's a weird green slash yellow goblin. And this guy's a little blue dinosaur. Cool. Now we can pick two other ones. And they will turn into um, a weird fly man who looks like something out of 70s Doctor Who. Okay. Okay, merge them, yes. Let's see what happens. Is it instant? Oh, magical beasts who serve us, merge thy flesh to gain yet greater power. Reveal. Okay, she does a chant. Well, they just get born out of a little pot in front of her, apparently. Okay, it's done. Uh, and you can turn some into something to sell, maybe? Oh, I'm still not entirely sure what's going on here. To the place of Elrum. Grant us our daily bread. Are we going to eat them? Am I making food here? What's going on?
So you can get money by selling the sunk at the shop. Okay. I think I've done everything I can. Well, we've got some anyway. Shall we head back into the forest and try again? Well, good luck. I'll always be here if you need anything. Thank you. Let's go and speak to the old lady as well. The magical old lady. Garai. Ever since your father disappeared into the forest, Chorus has been taking very good care of Cyrus. However, he promised to do so only until you came of age. No I what? think it would be best for you to study mm. under him. Let's see what she has to tell us. What shall we talk about? Oh god, no, there's a lot. I guess they're like different types of Pokeballs. Minions that you capture in the forest are merely imprisoned in cocoons. A firefly cocoon is of no use to you as is. You may neither use it for profit nor release the spirit imprisoned within. I know that. I just brought some back. You must first. Cleansed firefly cocoons become white cocoons. White cocoons. You will find the tame minions to be very useful. Okay, I'm going to try and use them. Purification is the work of a Nagi woman who has wed a cocoon master. Releasing the spirits is not your work alone. It is to be done by both of you. Let's ask her about my father. That was soon after I left the Nagi village with Mabu, who was yet an infant. I came across a wounded man laying collapsed on the ground. He was a cocoon master. He was gravely wounded, but my treatment revived him. The man thanked me and produced a flute from his pocket. He said that he wished me to deliver it to his son in Cyrus. Oh, cool. That's then where the flute he disappeared came from. into the depths of the forest. Just like that. That man was your father. Richard. He's not dead. I'm telling also you, he's not dead. The lion of peril. They all think he is. And so it was but we're going to find him. To settle down and live here in Cyrus. Perhaps this too was the will of Elrum, god of the forest. Nope. Let's say goodbye. Well. You should be off now. Oh, please, do be careful. I wonder if I've made any money. Maybe I can go back to the blacksmith again. Let's do another quick little save while we're here. Just in case anything goes wrong. Like when we were watching those FMVs earlier. I've still only got 200. I guess the idea is that you make more of the cocoons and sell them. Let's, uh, let's go and find a shop, shall we? Uh, I'm going to sit back a bit because my neck's aching. I've been in the seat all day working as well, so I probably shouldn't stay here too much longer. Let's go to the town shop and try and sell some stuff. It's also really hot, but if I put the fan on, I think it interferes with the microphone. I don't know, it seems okay. I think that's fine now. Is it? Can you hear the fan? Or is that alright? I think my camera's getting hot as well. It is. Maybe I should point the fan at the camera. You'll need lots of items before you're ready to hunt safely in the forest. Your father used to be one of our best customers, you know. Let me know if there's anything you need. Uh, oh, nice. Well, I'll get 300 for them. And I've only got one of them. I should probably get some more. But I'm going to be reckless and spend all my money on uh, on a new weapon. As I saw, there was one for 500. And now we have 500. Let's go. 
How do people feel about RPGs where you navigate the towns using a menu instead of walking around them? I don't have anything good for you here. You don't have anything good for me, but I know you've got something. A bronze sword. Or we could get the chain mail vest. I'm gonna go for the bronze sword, because that's what I was eyeing up. You'll regret it if you use it improperly. Oh. Okay. Uh, signal's cut out again. Hopefully it was just a little momentary blip. There we go, it's come back. I can sell these two. And buy the uh, leather vest, which will make me a little bit better defended. I can sell the hunter's vest. And hopefully I can buy some more herbs if they're not too expensive. If you need a more powerful weapon, come back later. Come back any time. Maybe I'll. He was funny earlier, him and his wife having a full-blown argument in front of me. Let's go to the town shop then. I love the atmosphere of this town, it feels very homely. Hello. Why did you pop up like that? You'll need lots of items before you're ready to hunt safely in the forest. You'll find that you should be one of the best customers. Let me know if there's anything you need. Uh, it's only 15. Cool. I can get three. There we go. I think I'm well prepared. Let's head back off. Back to the forest gates. Let's try again. Oh, okay, it's like a cool exploration style map. Nice. I'm going to go to the barrier gate just so I can save there. And then we can go back into the beetle forest through the gate. I wonder how many different... Uh, well, I guess you can tell. So, one, two, three. So there's four different areas, I guess. Let's go and have a look at one of the other ones. Yeah, so you just need to get the different keys to go through the, the four different areas, I suppose. Let's head back in here. It has a kind of Knights into Dreams vibe. Like a kind of otherworldly feel to it. Alright, let's try again. See if my new weapon's stronger. It's a lot bigger, and it's also bright red. So I wonder whether capture level 4 um, means that it's going to be easier to catch them. Because I didn't see any actual hit, hit uh, attack defense, whatever, go up when I leveled up, so it must just be for throwing the um, cocoons. Let's try another one. I don't know how many I've got, actually. Do you just start with a certain amount, maybe? Red Knight 20XX, hello! Don't mind me just lurking about. No worries, thanks for, thanks for watching anyway. Hope you're enjoying what you've seen so far. First time chat too. Always nice to see new people in here. Feel free to lurk away. I just realised the camera was still zoomed way in. There we go. All right, we got another creature. I'll try going the other way this time. If that is a, even is a path. No, it's not. It just looked like one. Well, that's okay. You don't need to worry about apologising. Too many meetings. Are you watching at work? Naughty, naughty. 
to be honest. I always have YouTube on in the background at work, so I can't say anything. Hope the meetings have been okay, though. I also had a lot of meetings today. Most of them that I was running as well, as I'm working with loads of different customers at the minute, so it's always fun. Yeah, just listening. Fair enough. At least this game's got good voice acting, so there is that. Although we haven't had to speak to anyone in a while. Yeah, work's been interesting. Not only have I been running loads of projects, I even interviewed someone the other day, which was a first. So that was pretty cool. I actually get in to find out what someone what someone does and stuff. And see whether they're worth hiring. And they seemed really good. I can't really say any more than that, but it's going well. And I've been writing lots of documentation and working on all these new projects that we're rolling out. So loads going on outside of YouTube too at the minute. Fingers crossed it means a, a pay rise and a promotion come October. That's what I'm hoping for. Then I can buy some more games to show off on YouTube. Oh no, my first death. Uh, pacifist run failed. Red Knight. I've uh, been watching my top 15 NES games. Cool. Yeah, it was kind of difficult, especially... Uh, the fact that he was um, late out of his other job, so he actually did the interview in the car, so he didn't really seem entirely comfortable because of that, rather than being at home, where I presume he would have much preferred to have the interview back at his PC. But yeah, it was interesting. I had a good range of questions to ask him about all the technical details about what languages he knows and, you know, what what stuff is he used on the Microsoft Power Platform and things like that. So it was interesting. He seemed to know his stuff. You're in a retro game mood again. Yay! Well, you're in the right place. I'm always here to provide for anyone's retro game moods. My new Game Boy video that I released last week is doing really well, so I'm very happy about that. Ah, uh, he just healed as I was about to try and capture him. God damn it. Uh, why is this cutscene so slow? Oh yeah, I was going to tell you guys some of the other stuff that I ordered off Baye. So there is a... And the, the prices are insanely cheap as well. So there was a game called Buffer's Evolution, which is like a, a speedrunning uh, platformer, which seems really cool. And I actually got that complete in box for 3,900 yen, which is £23. And that one has been shipped, and it's on the way to the warehouse. I also got a really interesting puzzle game. I can't remember the name of, but it's by Sunsoft. And that one was £11. And uh, there was a more expensive game as well. Another puzzle game, which was actually 100 quid, But it was a lot more on eBay in the UK. So I decided to order it from Japan. So I've got those three coming. And they're going to be bundled together soon. And there's two more that I'm bidding on. There is a Puzzle Bubble. And Magical Drop as well which has 9 hours remaining, and it's currently on £36, with 500 yen shipping, which isn't too bad. So I'm keeping my eye on them too. And there is also another one called Jajumaru Kun, which I want, which is going for about 100 and I don't really want to spend that much before payday, so maybe I'll wait for that one. And there is another one called Dyson Knight, which is £1,300, which, uh, yeah, is completely off the list. And Wonder Witch for 460. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of really interesting Wonderswan stuff that I've found on Bai, which I've been uh, trying not to spend all my money on this month. I'm kind of surprised how cheap the Wonderswan consoles actually are compared to the games. Oh well, straight into another fight. Come on, we're going to get through this forest in this stream. 
we're at least going to get to the end of the forest. I can't remember whether anything happened when I killed the uh, the enemy right then. Oh yeah, if anyone watching hasn't followed yet, definitely give me a follow so you can make sure to catch the rest of this because I do plan on playing all the way through this game. And I'm also planning to give it a play on the weekend too. The music's quite relaxing, isn't it? And this music. It's cool. So when you kill the enemy, you don't actually get any experience points at all. Which is quite annoying. So in order to actually progress anywhere, you do have to watch that cutscene over and over and over. I found a locked treasure chest. Oh, okay, there's stairs. I almost didn't make out the fact that there was anything there then. I have no idea where I'm going though. I think I've gone round in a circle. Ah! I wonder if there's any sort of go behind the enemy to get a first attack or something. I don't think so. I haven't seen anything like that. I don't know how much I need to get their health down by before I can use the cocoon. Let's try one more hit. I'm surprised this new sword doesn't do much different to the old one. I thought it would be more of a more obvious change. Okay, let's try. Capture time! I think this would have been cool as an anime back in the 90s. Big stretch. Come on, we got him. My Game Boy video is doing really well. The algorithm, I can see the algorithm trying to pick it up. Every time I look at the stats, it's like bouncing up and down like that, but it is going up, so. Fingers crossed it finds the right audience. I really hope so. I worked very hard on the Game Boy video for this week. I was up until about 2 o'clock in the morning the night before it went live trying to tidy up the editing and make it look as good as possible. So I hope you noticed the uh, amount of effort that I went through. I was kind of trying out a new style so hopefully people liked it. Where am I supposed to be going? I think I've already been around here. I can't get in there yet. I don't think I've got a key or anything. Have I? No. Although I should probably use that. Just in case. I don't know where to go. Let's try going back out here. Oops. We can keep going this way. Maybe. I don't think I've been down here yet. Yeah, this looks new. Or maybe not. Maybe this side? It's annoying there's no map. This looks new. I'm mashing X the whole time in case there's anything interesting on the ground. Have I been here before? I still can't tell. Everything looks very similar. I think this might be where I died last time. So let's take this guy on and then finally we might be in a new part of the level. Let's find out. After we whap him a few times with this bright red sword. That's not fair. I can't do that. I haven't got any magic. I don't think anyway unless the uh, summoning monsters that I've got are in fact magic spells. But I d I'm too scared to try them in case I need them later on. I don't know. I don't know when I'm supposed to be using them.
I get kind of thrown off that the music doesn't go quieter when he's playing his flute. It's like there's two different songs playing at once, though. Yay, we got another one. Let's watch that capture experience point bar go up. Very slowly. Alright, we are now officially in new territory. Let's see what's going up here. Yeah. Looks like a weird helmet with wings lodged in the floor. Or is this where I died? Because there was two snakes, wasn't there? Yeah, here we go. Let's try doing a summon then. Ooh, I did take a photo to explain the uh, rock, paper, scissors thing that's going on here with the different elemental types. So they are air. So we need to use the fire one, which is called Pata Imel. Let's see what he does. Here's my first summon. Where have I gone? Oh, wow, okay, you actually get to play as them. Okay, we have a regular attack. We have no specials. We have magic. Let's try magic. Fire magic, maybe. Oh, didn't do as much as I was hoping. And I have a mana bar which is going down too. And I've been poisoned. Let's try a regular attack, see whether that does more than 12. Oh wow, that hardly did anything. He is only level 1 though, maybe that's the issue. He's not going to survive for long. Let's try some more fire magic. That should get him down to what? Three? Oh, six. It got weaker. And I've only got three mana left. That took off a lot. And I'm dead. I'm going to be poisoned. Even if he didn't attack me, I'd be dead anyway. No, I lost my first summon. Oh well. It was an experiment anyway. Let's kill this one. Oh, I could have tried capturing him really, couldn't I? Oh well, let's try capturing this other one. It feels kind of weird playing an RPG and not listening to a podcast at the same time. I'm so used to doing that these days. I always have a podcast on in the background. We can try and capture him now. If anyone's curious, I've been listening to the Vin and Ali show. Um, they basically talk through business books and their takeaways from them, which is really cool. I found that on YouTube recently. Um, Ali Abdal as well, Deep Dive. That's a really cool podcast. Got loads of interesting guests on there. Diary of a CEO, of course. One of the most popular ones out there. Always interesting guests on that one too. Lots of entrepreneurs and stuff, which I'm really into recently. Abroad in Japan for something different. And he's finally started putting his podcast on YouTube as well, which I'm very happy about. And a whole bunch of other ones. Hey, we found the key! That means we can get in that treasure chest. Shall we... Uh, I wonder what happens if you fight air with air. Let's try and bring him out. Anyone watching or listening? Do you have any favourite podcasts that you're listening to at the moment? Oh, he doesn't have any magic. He does have a wing attack though. Will that use mana? No, that is just a regular attack. Oh, it did use mana. It just took a while to show up. Let's try and whittle his health down a bit. I don't think any of these monsters that I've got are really strong enough yet to do much. They're just more like cannon fodder. Oh well, maybe we can at least get rid of one of these squoots. Very 
very slowly. I'm so used to modern RPGs having the option to fast forward. It feels kind of archaic going back to a, an old style one like this. Oh no, he's dead. Oh yeah, as I mentioned the Abroad in Japan podcast, he actually just released a book recently. And I just finished reading it last night. It was a fantastic read. I wish he'd talked more about how he'd started his YouTube channel though. It was a lot about his uh, moving to Japan originally and the culture shock of it all and learning to teach English in a Japanese school and stuff, which was really fascinating. So I did really enjoy the book overall. And Ali Abdal's actually got a book coming out soon as well. Feel Good Productivity, which I've also got pre-ordered. Looking forward to reading that soon. Hopefully I can take some useful tips and advice from it. I'm constantly watching his YouTube videos in the background while I'm at work. And it has actually helped, like, in a work context anyway, with all the different projects that I've got going on. And a little bit on the YouTube side as well. I'm always trying to look for ways of improving my workflows and things, so it's always interesting reading up on that sort of stuff and listening to experts in the field. Always trying to absorb as much information as I can and trying to put it to use. We have a key, finally. Let's go and fight some more worms first. Or maybe let's just retreat. Is it an instant retreat? Oh, he turned round. Oh, but it's fine. That was weird. I thought I was going to get forced back into the fight then. Well, we're here. Let's see what's up these steps over here. There's something shiny on a weird pyramid. Oh no, it's just a regular enemy. I thought I'd found an interesting... Um, oh, a very strong enemy. Okay. Maybe he's worth capturing. He's level 3. Is he going to kill me in one hit, though? At least if he does, I've already got the key. Hopefully I'm allowed to keep it. Anyway, talking about all these YouTubers' books, I would love to write my own one day. I do have plans to, in the far future. Because I do love writing as well, and I feel like I've got a lot to share. I would like to do a few different ones. I'd like to do a retro gaming related book. Um, maybe tying together a few different videos that I've got planned in the future. Let's see if this magic attack does anything. But yeah, I'd also like to try my hand at some other stuff in the future, but that's like a long time in the future if I ever do full time content creation and I don't have a day job to worry about, then I would love to try my hand at a lot of other creative endeavours, honestly. Like, love to try making music. That's something else I've always wanted to try and do. I have so many things going under my head all at once, honestly. Let's try a water attack. It's probably not going to do much. And it used up all of my mana. Is anyone watching or listening, working on any interesting projects at the minute that you'd like to share? I'm always curious what creative people are doing. I feel like I want to try and help people out with their projects as much as I can. <coughs> Excuse me. That's something I would like to do as well, if I ever do try and take YouTube full time is to set up a secondary sort of channel or some sort of consultancy and just help people out on their own journeys. Give them tips and advice and feedback and that sort of thing. Because it does seem quite hard to find honest, useful feedback. So that is something maybe I would try and do in the future. But I'm just throwing random ideas out there at this point. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I love backloggery so much. 
and I'm very excited for the site remake that's coming out soon so luckily it'll carry over everything you've already got on there as well which is good it's a lot sleeker as well especially if you're using it on a mobile phone you don't have to zoom in and navigate the horrible like early 2000s interface which will be a massive improvement but yeah it's a great site and I love the community aspect on there as well, which is something that's missing from a lot of other game collecting services. Let's try and capture this guy again. He's being very stubborn. How many games have you got on your currently playing list? I'll have a look on mine now. I've got... Jade Cocoon, obviously, I added that earlier. We've got Pikmin 4, Tears of the Kingdom, Galm Guardians Demon Purge for the Switch, which is something else I picked up recently. Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. I did actually finish all of Advance Wars 1, which is surprising for me. And I just started playing through Advance Wars 2 on there. I am so determined to capture this guy. He's been really stubborn. I need to get one more hit in, I think. Uh, what else have I got? Resident Evil 4 Remake, Chapter 15. I'm right near the end now. Fire Emblem Engage, I got up to Chapter 5. It's kind of a difficult game to play, honestly, because I've never really played any Fire Emblem games before, and they're throwing a lot of characters from older games at me and expecting me to know who they are and things like that. Uh, what else? Yggdra Union for the GBA. I'm on Chapter 2 on that. Moss on PSVR 2. And Castlevania Advance Collection. I was playing through Aria of Sorrow on there. 57.3% complete. Just gone through the clock tower and defeated death. But I got a bit lost. I think that's why I stopped playing that. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've got 10 on there. How many did you say? 9. I beat you by 1! You're playing some solo and some with roommates. That's fun. I haven't got roommates, but I do live with my girlfriend, and there's a few games coming out soon that we're planning to play through together, which will be fun. We're going to play through Sonic Superstars, and Mario Wonder as well. So there are two games coming out later this year that I'm very much looking forward to. Ooh, we found him! <laughs> the son of the lion I didn't expect to find him in here. More talented than I had thought. Yay, we did it, we got through the forest. Yeah, Mario Wonder looks so good. I'm so excited. It's been far too long since I the last 2D Mario game. In my books, but in the end, I found nothing. However, there is a folk tale that describes a dust that wakes the sleeping. I heard that folk tale earlier the from a, a very raspy Japanese half bird, half uh, old man. man. Named Kikina, who lives in the dragonfly forest. Okay. Perhaps that powder is brewed from the calabas leaves. I have to get the dragonfly key then, this I think. This is only a guess, and it's all I could find. But I think it is worth looking into. Here is the key to the dragonfly I knew it. Key. You should have it. Thank you, sir. Hopefully I get to go back through this forest, because I got the key to the Better treasure chest. Back to the village and consult with Garai. No, not yet. She may know something about the tale of Kikinak. You must do your best before it is too late. Thank you, but let me go back and explore the forest some more first. The divine spirit oh, we get another the great father and the throws same. off his shackles. He is now bound to the chains of freedom. I guess that means we're on chapter three. The Birdman. Oh, we did go straight back there. Oh, well. I can go back in, I guess. If it let me keep the other key, that is. So, even Chorus does not know. But I do remember hearing the tale of the Birdman. There is a similar story of divine spirits in Nagi legend as well. Sure, let's hear a story. Elrum released his minions, the divine spirits, unto peril. He spake, thou 
shalt not become what presides over life. And so they spent days bringing life to the forest and giving names unto themselves. <sighs> and then one day, a spirit made up its mind to create a beast in its own image. Elrim warned, that creature is the beast of knowledge, and it will someday bring temptation upon you. Thou shalt not associate with it. <clears throat> the divine spirit so promised, and gave birth to the beast of its own image. Such was the birth of man, the beast of knowledge, as told by the prophet Guy. As the sands of time flowed on, the beasts bore children, and so continued to multiply. Soon a fateful day came to the forest. One of the divine spirits fell in love with the daughter of man, and so the promise was at last broken. Elrum punished the divine spirit for its sin by transforming it into a beast. Descendants of that divine spirit dwell still in the forest, and sometimes they reveal themselves to us. Is that the weird skunkhead guy from my dream the earlier? The man, Kikinok, as mentioned in the folk tales of Peril, might be referring to this spirit. I think that's who we're going to go and find now, the Birdman. We should seek out Kikinok, the legendary Birdman. Enter the dragonfly forest, but be warned, an average cocoon master is no match for the denizens within. It's okay, I got a level and four cocoon now. Gravekeeper about the legends. Okay, we're gonna go to the grave first he then, are we? He is the storyteller of Cyrus, and should know much about the fables of old. I like the way they're weaving all these old folklore, like, fairy tales into the main story. It's pretty cool. Right, let's ask her to purify some of these new enemies Doing divine uh, magic is very captured. tiring. Ugh. After performing a purification, I feel so sluggish. Oh no. Well, sorry, I'm going to make you do another one. Get Our to work, wife. Love, and for the tormented, we pray. I'm still confused whether they got married Grant or not. Us, the beast of knowledge, the power to touch the spirit. Oh my god, I thought something was falling out of the ceiling then. The screen's really big in front of me. Uh, if I turn the camera around, you can see, but I'm using my big ultra-wide monitor directly in front of me to play this rather than on the TV, so... It is throwing me off a little bit. I'm not used to seeing PS1 games in this size. I usually use the little CRT back there. But it's um, kind of difficult to record and capture from it. That's why I'm using the PC monitor in front of me. Uh, anyway, let's ask her to... How do I get her to purify them? Am I not supposed to? Oh, are they already purified? Let's try and merge that level 3 one. Uh, the rest are only level 1. Which one's got the best attack power? This one with 25, I guess. Okay, view form. We are going to make a little green dinosaur with a really big horn. And he's going to have a fire attack and an earth attack. Oh, cool. And you've got a whole family tree to look at as well. So I'm going to have to take this more seriously than just randomly selecting ones then, I guess. Okay, I think I think I changed 
what I selected there. Oh, I was getting a bit confused. Merge thy flesh to gain yet greater power. Reve Reveal to us thy heroic form. Let's see what we got. Is it still the little green dinosaur? Is it going to be level 4? Merging a level 3 with a level 1? Let's see, where is he? It is still level 3, but now it has two attacks. I can see this getting quite complicated. Anyway, let's move him up here in, in place of that one. And some of these other ones we can actually... I guess we can just do that to all of them just to get more money. I don't know why they changed the uh, oh, select button from square to red. circle or triangle. Depending on what screen you're on, that's a little bit confusing. Anyway, we should have a whole bunch of things to sell now. White cocoon shells, I think they were called. You can get money by selling the silk at the shop. Okay, white cocoons was what I was already using. Okay, and we have three in my possession, so let's go and sell those. Welcome. Good luck. I'll save again while I'm here. Hope everyone's enjoying this. Nice relaxing stream. I know it's a lot slower than normal. For once I'm not playing an action game. I'm playing a very laid back RPG actually. It's got a nice relaxing atmosphere to it this game. So far. And it did kind of remind me that I would really love to play Chrono Cross at some point as well. I my... I bet he's out... Tell him... old man, so I was skipping through that. This is different. Come home and do his chores. This guy's always angry. Oh wow, there's some, there's some good armor. We've got some new weapons too, yes. So much stuff. Oh, he doesn't want to buy my uh, cocoons, though. I have to go to a different shop for that. Come again when you can. I wish I hadn't bought the other weapon at this point. He's got loads of way better stuff there now. Oh, well. Let's go to the town shop and sell all those silk things. And then we can go back there. Should be able to make quite a bit of money. Maybe a thousand. Yeah, I came to do shopping. I don't care about your backstory. We've got 10. 1,500. Awesome. I'm not selling that key. Oh, we've got some new stuff here as well. Oh, you can hold circle to see the description. That's good. Total restoration. Immortality route. 1,500. That would literally wipe me out. We also have a bigger mugwort. The... Heels. It doesn't say how much. Anyway, let's go and see what we can get for 1,500. I'm so bored and there hasn't been any customers today. Maybe I'll go to the square and hear some stories. Oh yeah, I need to go to the cemetery to hear a story. Some sort of folklore tale or something. So we'll do that after, but let's go back to the blacksmith first. He's not complaining about his kid miss going missing again, Just is he? Buying a powerful weapon doesn't mean nothing unless you're ready to. You know. Sword of speed. That sounds pretty good, but let's see what armor we've got instead. We might have enough to get both. Because you'll be able to sell the older stuff. Okay, so we got the best armor. And yes, just enough. Although, actually, that only increases the speed. Uh, the rest of them don't do anything. Okay, I suppose speed's useful anyway. 
And we can also get a leather head leather headband, which uh, gives me a lot more defense. Or an iron headband. Let's see if we can sell and get the iron headband. Then we've literally got the best of everything. How much was it? 500? Yes, we did it! We've literally got the best of everything we can buy at this point in the game. Awesome. We are well prepared to go into the dragonfly forest. I got nice. I feel like I need to go and catch a load more monsters now, though. Uh, where do we want to go now? Cemetery, I think. They said there was someone here who wants to tell me a story. I guess that's him over by the tree in the corner. Do you like that FMV background with it very slightly moving? A nice subtle effect. Would probably look nicer on a CRT, but you can see all the artifacts on stream. Oh, it's this guy again. He's the guy with the weird oh, voice. I quite like it here. I wonder if you understand. We've already heard all his stories. I have a fine view of the forest. I love the forest. That he loves the forest. I like it here. Did you know? When I'm here watching the forest, I need nothing else at all. It is a nice oh forest. I almost forgot about the frolicking children. Their smiles are important too. Uh, he likes watching the children. Maybe he shouldn't admit to that. Hear the story of the Birdman. Hear the legend of... Okay, let's hear the story of the Birdman, as this is the guy that we're going to go and visit next. Once upon a time, Enjoy his voice. No monster today. And he continued and to his daddy long legs came in through the window. And before long, the breath of the great tree became a thick and heavy fog which shrouded the forest. The woodcutter soon lost his way. He grew so tired wandering about that he soon took a short rest. Just then, sweet smelling fluffs began to float down from above. All who would smell their sweet scent would fall fast asleep. The woodcutter couldn't help but to fall in a deep slumber, and there he lay, snoring great snores in the middle of the forest. For three days he slept. On the morning of the fourth day, a bird man flew down to where he lay. He spoke to him. I'm the strongest, you always say. One fight with me if you may. I don't like the way this guy puts on different voices. The dust that possibly came out of the something herb that brings all the people back to life. With that, the woodcutter sneezed a great sneeze and jumped to his feet. The surprised woodcutter shouted, Who on earth are you? I warn you, I am incredibly strong, and I will <laughs> battle right now. The birdman replied, you can't defeat me, but if you do, we can be friends and I'll share my powder with you. It cures all illness and turns old to new. I got it from the forest oh, people. The daddy long legs just flew yard. into the lens then. The woodcutter tried to grab the bird man. But the woodcutter had been asleep for three days. He was too hungry to hold on. With one flap of his mighty wings, the bird I'm just having a look the through the instruction manual while we're watching this. The 
Seems like there's a lot to do in the game. Woodcutter told the villagers all about the strange bird man, but not a soul believed him. From that day on, the woodcutter never again boasted of his strength. There we go, that was the story of the woodcutter. Or the story of the birdman. Understand? The divine tree of the forest is an incarnation of Elrum. You must never think of harming it. It is always watching over us. I think we're going to end up at the tree at the end of there the game. There are many other tales with the birdman. It seems they all say that he hates fire. Perhaps he was barbecued in a previous life. <laughs> I'm not sure that's what happened. He was barbecued in a previous life. Alright. According to the instruction manual, we've just got to the end of the beginning of the game. Because it actually ended with visiting the guy in the hut who gives you the dragonfly key at the end of the um, beetle forest that we were just at, so anyway, let's go back to the beetle forest and open up that treasure chest that we've now got the key for. Let's see what was in there, hopefully something interesting. Uh, if I can remember where it is, it was down some stairs somewhere on the right. After the big turn in at the end of this section. Uh, into a fight. I have to remember to capture everyone. Because for some reason. Just. Uh, if I do that. Is that annoying? Because you can hear the. Fan blowing the air towards the uh, microphone. Or is it okay? getting a bit hot. The computer's really hating the room up. Hopefully that's not too loud. I've moved it over a little bit. <clears throat> I might stop playing soon anyway, just so I can cool down a bit before bed. Well, I'll give it until we've got this treasure chest and then go back to the village and save. Hopefully you've enjoyed part one. Like I said, because this is an RPG and I do want to play it all the way through, maybe I'll play a bit more on the weekend as well. So definitely give me a follow here on Twitch if you want to see me playing on the weekend and then before we jump back into it on Tuesday next week. Because uh, it's kind of a daunting thought playing all the way through an RPG on stream. So thank you for the support. Red Knight's going to run. No worries. Have a good sleep. Thanks for dropping by. See you again soon. I'm going to do a safety save there, just in case. And I think it's just down here, and then turn right and go down some stairs. Yeah, down here. If I'm not mistaken, the treasure chest was down here somewhere. There's a weird little imp thing. There it is. Let's see what's in here. Four meta mugwort, so the good ones. And an iron headband. Let's see if that iron headband does anything. Oh, I've already got one. It does nothing. I suppose I could sell it. Well, I guess it was worth coming back here. Nothing super exciting though, was it? Let's catch this guy. Finally, my weapons seem to be making a good bit of difference. Hopefully that doesn't kill him. Oh no! It did. Got some special liquor. 
I think they're basically the antidote to this game. I might keep playing a bit longer because I want to see what the dragonfly forest is like too. I do have a new book to read though and I want to read a bit of that before bed. It's called Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow and it's about two kids who meet each other in hospital and then they reunite at university and the reason I bought it is because uh, they are on a game design course I think and they decide to start their own game studio so it's kind of like a traditional teenage love story mixed in with game development which is really interesting so I'm looking forward to reading some more of that I've only read the first like two chapters at the minute but it seems good so far so if you want something new to read, something fictional, which is quite a rarity for me because I love reading non-fiction books and business books and self-help books and all that sort of stuff, so to read something fiction is a nice change of pace. And I'm really enjoying it, it's really well written so far. So yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow and tomorrow if you're interested. It came out recently and I walked past Waterstones in town the other day and I just saw it in the window and I went in to get it. I couldn't find it straight away though. I ended up walking around the whole shop for ages and then I asked someone behind the counter and they just took me to it and it was right next to the entrance and I walked straight past it. So yeah, looking forward to reading another chapter of that tonight before bed. And yay, we got another creature. A cocoon. Another jade one though. I love the premise of this game, it's very unique very slowly building up experience points. I suppose I could use the earring to get back. Shall we try that? I presume it has unlimited uses. Hmm. How do I use it? Hunter's earring. There we go. Hopefully it stays there forever. Let's see what happens. He's like, whoa, why did the earring make everything white so you just pass out we're back shall we go straight there let's do it let's go dragonfly room what interesting stuff happens in the dragonfly room Not going to get stung by a dragonfly, am I? I feel like I'm a miniature scale, the size of all these plants around me. <clears throat> Looks cool, though. Oh, wow, and the enemies are a lot stronger here, too. I suppose the idea is that you'd get out your level 3 creature. Let's try him, shall we? And he's got two different types. He's earth and fire. I wonder what the PS2 game's like in comparison to this one. I do actually have it. I have it up there on the shelf, actually. It looks quite different, though, from what I can tell. Oh, wow, that didn't do much damage. I thought that would do a lot more. Has anyone here actually played the PS2 version? Or this one, in fact. Oh yeah, if, you want, if you're wondering what the names above me are, they're actually the most recent followers. It used to say recent followers, but that's been cut off because the game's 4x3, so... It's just got the names scrolling past instead, which I guess is fine. But just in case anyone was wondering, that's what that means. I'm sure you already guessed that anyway. Alright, let's see. Do I have to switch back to me in order to try and catch this? Yeah, so we can try capture. I presume once their health is in the red, then that's when you've got a chance to do the capturing.
Got it. Yay, got another level 3 one. In a few streams time I'm going to look back and think that level 3 is so weak. Why was I excited about a level 3 when I got a level 100 monster? Let's try and get another one. Oh, it is quite a slow paced game though. Man, the transitions into the battle and the slow nature of actually doing the fights, especially with these enemies that have got so much HP. It's definitely the kind of game that you'd want to play while you're doing something else at the same time, I think. Like listening to a podcast or something. But I'm enjoying it. It's well made. Who actually made this game, anyway? A company called Crave Interactive, or a company called Genki. I presume Genki is the... One of them is the developer and one of them is the publisher. I don't know which way around it is, actually. Hmm, if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. I say comments like it's a video. Let me know in the chat. That's the right word. I like that noise. I like that noise more than the actual music in the battles. Is that something? Oh, it went too fast. What did I get? Was it something here? I don't know what I just picked up. If anyone was paying attention, what did I just pick up there? Hello, Skento. How are you doing tonight? You made a list of all the Game Boy games from my Game Boy video, and now you're going to play through them. Awesome. That's what the videos are for, finding out new games to play. I hope you have fun. I had a lot of fun making that list. There was a load of really great games that I showed off there. So I hope you enjoy playing them. Which ones are you most excited about playing based on what you've downloaded? Or I presume downloaded. Anyway. Yes, of course, I'm doing a follow-up for the Game Boy Color. It might be a little while because there's a few more that I want to try and get physically first. But it is in the works. I've got a list. I've got a, I've basically got a table and I have a column that says own and I have a column that says recorded. So I'm slowly going through capturing all the footage and uh, having a look on eBay for the ones that I don't actually own yet. So yeah. Expect that maybe in a few months. It's going to be a while soon. Uh, enjoy Tetris Plus. It's so good. Literally one of my favourite puzzle games of all time. I love trying to navigate the professor around inside the, inside the well. It's so fun. Like I said in the video, it's such a unique idea that no one's really done anything with since. Outside of, I guess, Wario's Woods is probably the other closest game to it. But that came out first, so yeah, really, there hasn't really been anything like it since Tetris Plus, really. I mean, there probably has been, and I'm just not aware of it. If anyone knows anything like that, let me know. Oh, awesome. Someone in my Discord lives close to their, um, their retail place as well. They went there the other day and picked up a bunch of stuff. I'm so jealous. It looks so cool. And they actually picked up some Game Boy games that I've actually got ordered, and they haven't even shown up yet. How do you not spend all your money going there in person? Oh wow, they sell stuff that's not just limited run as well then. Cool. You're very lucky living close to that. That's awesome. Yeah, I thought it'd be great for finding some indie releases. I can't think of the last thing that I got from Limited Run. Might have been Mushihime Sama for the Switch, which is a really cool shoot 'em up. 
Japanese shoot em up. Ooh, what's that? Something glows by the side of a statue carved with a place name. Skeleton key picked up. That was a lot easier to find than the last key. Oh my god, how are you surviving in 46 de degrees? That's insane. Yeah, I have no idea about Fahrenheit, so thanks for doing that for me. I'll find out what the temperature here is. I feel bad for having my phone on, uh, my fan on now. It is uh, 14 degrees uh, Celsius. Uh, let me find out what that is in Fahrenheit. Uh, 15 57.2 so it is uh, half 10 at night though and it is 14 degrees but yeah that's nothing compared to 46 that's insane how the hell are you coping in that it never gets that hot here even in the summer it only goes up to about 40 which is a I guess about 100 and that's uh that's during a heat wave too. It's usually around 26, 27 in the summer. He's guarding the treasure chest. No, I don't have a Steam Deck. I would like to get one though. I've been considering one for a long time. Have you got one? I would like one, mainly for using emulators and stuff on. Although the G Cloud is doing a really good job with emulators, so I'm very happy with that at the minute, honestly. So Once I got that, the idea of getting a Steam Deck didn't really seem as important as it was before. And honestly, the G Cloud has been fantastic. I actually used it to record all of the Game Boy games in my last video. Which is so cool, because then I can just sit on the sofa downstairs and just relax and actually record games for the video at the same time. Which I could never do before. We'd always have to plug in the SNES or the GameCube and sit up here and record it. So Very excited to be able to do that, honestly. But no, I don't have a Steam Deck. But maybe, maybe in the future. You haven't seen my video on the G Cloud? Terrible. It's the new Logitech handheld, kind of like the Steam Deck. You've got some homework to do after I finish this stream. You've got to go and watch my G Cloud video. I think it's out in America. They sent it me. Logitech teamed up with me a few weeks ago. I had to do one video for them, which was their cloud gaming service video, and then I was free to do a video that I wanted to make, which was checking out all the emulators on there. So when I finish this stream, go and watch that. You can find out what the G Cloud is. I'm really happy with it. It's more powerful than I thought it would be, to be honest, because I had heard a few people complaining about its uh, lack of power. But honestly, it's been fine for what I want to use it for. And the fact that I can get RetroArch on there and get retro achievements and stuff, that's quite exciting too. When I end this stream, I'll put a link to it in the chat, and you can all go over there and watch that if you haven't seen it before. Yeah, there you go. That was the G Cloud. I had a bit of fun with that video. The idea was to try and get it to run Switch games, but I just gave up because I wanted to release a video. So it just ends with me just <laughs> and the whole thing setting on fire as a joke. Oh, Retro Achievements was such a pain to set up in the in the first place on there, but once it's up and running, it's cool. It's kind of a shame I can't actually link the uh, shame I can't link the actual systems up with Retro Achievements somehow. That would be fun. I have no idea how that would work practically, but it would be a cool idea. Oh nice, you got it on the 3DS. That's cool. What sort of emulators work on the 3DS? I've never really looked into it before. It would be great if um, uh, PSP wouldn't run on it, would it? 
I'm trying to think what retro console uses widescreen. I guess Wonder Swan might be cool. That's kind of a widescreen. PS1, yeah, that's good. I guess Dreamcast's out of the question. Is that slightly too powerful for it? N64? Maybe? I know the 3DS has some N64 games, but they're not emulated. Oh wow, that's cool. It might be a bit difficult playing the first one with the uh, 3DS buttons only though. I think it also has a few other ports, doesn't it? It has things like Doom, probably. Like every system ever. And um, Cave Story. No, oh, that's cool. I guess I'm guessing things like SNES and Mega Drive or Genesis for you would work fine on it as well. What about Saturn? I I doubt Saturn works. Although Saturn emulation is getting a lot better recently compared to how it used to be a few years ago. Yeah, I do actually have a modded 3DS, but I've not really locked into it too much. It's sat, it's sat right here actually. Because I was planning to do some 3DS videos. It's a bright pink one because I got it off eBay because it actually has a capture port in the back as well. So you can plug it into the computer and capture gameplay. So at some point I'm actually going to try and stream from the 3DS. I was planning, I've actually got it in there. I was planning on playing through another code, which is Trace Memory in America, if you've heard of that game. Oh yeah, I've seen that Galaxy one, that's really nice. That's a new 3DS, isn't it? New 3DS XL. This is unfortunately just an original DS, not a new one. So there's a few emulators and stuff that it can't handle. Right, what did I get? A silver crown and three... I don't know what they are. Agnes Seal 1, Agnes Seal 2. Five of them and three of the other one. What are they? Uh, attack a single enemy with fire. Oh, okay, they're things to use in battle. Cool. <laughs> still the new 3DS. Yep, and it's still new Super Mario Bros, even though that came out in 2006, nearly 20 years ago. Even though it's, what, 17 years old? It's still new. Nintendo will never not let it be new. Is the Silver Crown better? The Silver Crown is better for magic and speed, but worse for defense. Is that worth it? I don't really use any magic. Maybe I'll keep the other one. Interesting music. Let's go up here. We haven't been up here yet. I kind of got bored of all the fighting. There's another treasure chest. Can I use the same key? Ooh, we're going down into the into the depths here. I like all the different camera angles. It's very Resident Evil style. But it feels a bit nicer to control than Resident Evil. The PS1 Resident Evil, anyway. Resident Evil 2 on the N64 is really nice to control. Whittle his health away and try and catch him. He's level four, which is cool. Whoa, what's going on? He's not really doing that much damage, though. It's just a. Uh, I really wish you could fast forward these battles, honestly. They do go on a bit. I wonder how much different the battle system is in the second game. is for the PlayStation 1. Here it is, Jade Cocoon. I picked it up in CEX the other day after a few people had recommended it to me over the years. I was quite excited to find it, so I'm excited to give it a go. 
and I'm enjoying it so far. Yeah, that's a really interesting story. You'll have to go back and watch the VOD after. Watch the first, like, 30 minutes or something to figure out what's going on. Yay, we caught another one. You have to go and take them back to your wife who lives in a little tent back in the village. And she turns them into things that you can then use. You can then use them in battle. Which is what I keep forgetting to do. It's a flute, apparently. You, you play the flute and that's how you capture the enemies. Did it say I need a different key? It's locked. No! We need to find another key. A one-handed flute, yeah. Maybe just playing it like that. Uh, I don't really want to fight two at once. Let's try summon. So when you when you summon, you can send out one of three monsters that you've collected. Although I don't think level one is going to do anything against level four, so. I'll just retreat for now. No idea. It just it just called it a flute, literally. Let's see if it says anything in the instruction manual. The instruction manual's nice. You probably can't see it on camera, but it's got some nice illustrations of all the different characters in the game. All the people that you speak to in the village, anyway. No, it doesn't say anything. All about all the different magical spells that you can do and stuff and how you can breed the different characters together to make different pairings and different attack combinations and stuff, which is interesting. Ooh, this is an interesting looking place. Ah, oh, there's a daddy long legs flying around in here. Shouldn't have left my window open. Go away! <laughs> but you'll think I'm crazy. You can't see anything on the camera. Oh, these are all level 5. I've gone out of my depth down here. I'm going to back off and head back to the start of it. Oh no, it won't let me leave. I guess we're stuck here. What do you call a flying daddy long legs then? I don't know. A crane fly, apparently. A daddy long legs with wings. Whatever it is, it's annoying me. Good fact about the crane fly they can't harm you. Good. Oh, they are daddy long legs. Crane fly, also known as daddy long legs. There we go. You learn something new every day. I don't know where the name Daddy Longlegs comes from, but there you go. It is a crane fly, not a spider. They have no purpose in life other than just annoying people. Oh no, I've been sent to sleep. Oh my god, I really wish there was a way to speed up the fights. They're so slow. But we might get some level 5 monsters from this. So it might be worth sticking through it.
The Daddy Long Legs lives for around two weeks and its only purpose is to mate and lay eggs. What a life. Hm. Weird. There's so many differences between America and the UK, it's, uh, it's difficult to know. Considering we share the same language. There's probably more differences than there are similarities. Well, maybe that's a bit of an overstatement. Else you wouldn't be able to understand anything that I'm saying. Right, we can try and capture this one now. This mask... mask hero? Oh no, not if he sends me to sleep. Come on, let me do something. Don't keep looking at them. <laughs> let me have a turn. No, and he sent me to sleep again. Uh, I'm waiting to go to sleep myself, actually. But first, we must capture these, and then I want to go and read a bit of that new book that I was telling everyone about earlier. And then I will sleep. Well, I probably won't. I'll probably get my iPad out after that and start writing some ideas for more YouTube videos. And then sleep. Because unfortunately, you work calls tomorrow. Such is life. I wish I could just stay up all night and carry on playing this. Yay, we got it. Now we're going to try and get the other one before he sends me to sleep again. do a few attacks before I need to use one of those herbs. Although maybe it's safer to use one of the herbs now. Because it can send me to sleep and probably do a few hits back to back. We've got one left. So I might try using this, capture this guy and then teleport back to the village and get these cocoons purified or whatever you need to do with them. first. Let's see whether we can actually capture this one as well to go along with the other one. Sounds a little bit Pikmin-ish, the background music does. I don't know what instrument that is, that high-pitched instrument that came through then. We are ready to try and capture him once again. Or capture the other one's brother, I guess. Quite monotonous battle music. I still think that Trails in the Sky has the best battle music that I've heard in an RPG so far. That music is just so good. Hmm. Love it. A good jazzy battle theme. Yay. Whoa, that gave me a load of experience. Cool. I guess because it was two in one. Uh, now I'm tempted to carry on down here. No. Let's not do that yet. We'll save that for the next stream. Let's go back. I suppose I should think about ending soon, anyway. Hey, Ginger Wolf. You just made it. I literally just said I'm thinking about ending the stream, so... Thanks for joining, and you can check out a little bit of the game, because I'm not quite done just yet. It's kind of hard to explain what's going on at the moment, though. Uh, maybe I'll see what's up there. I don't think I went that way. Okay, let's fight this weird turtle thing. Maybe I can add him to my party. There's two. Two Rigus. They're level four. At least if I capture them, I might end up on level seven myself. I'm not really sure what capture level does, though, because you don't get... 
you don't get any money from leveling up, and you don't increase any of your stats from leveling up either. I think it is purely just how easy is it for you to capture other monsters. Which is kind of negated by the fact that the monsters that you'll find after you've leveled up are a higher level anyway. But there you go. How's your day been, Ginger Wolf? Have you had a tough day or just a long one? And what time is it where you are in the world? It is coming up to 11 o'clock at night here, so I better start thinking about wrapping this stream up soon. I've been enjoying myself though. I really didn't know what to expect from this game. And just over three hours in now, and I am really enjoying it. It's fairly simple, but I really like the story and the way it's told, and the structure of the game is really nice. Oh, I didn't realise how much, or how little HP I've got. Uh, is it my turn? Good. Oh no. And I ran out of herbs as well. Let's try using this instead. I don't know what this does, but it attacks both of them. It didn't do much. <clears throat> Should I attempt... Attempt to capture one of them and then run away. I'm going to be on like 3 HP or something. <gasps> 2 HP! Oh my god! Alright. Let's attempt to capture. I'm going to try and run. 7pm. Just starting your evening then. I'm glad you chose me to start your evening off. You haven't had food yet? Oh no. I had some pasta for dinner a few hours ago. Hopefully things went well in the lab. Yay, we got him. Now to escape. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh well, I needed to get back to the village anyway. So basically, you get to the end of the village and then you go through these different gates or portals here once you've got the right keys. And then that takes you off to the next sort of dungeon area. And there you can progress the story by finding more important people and capturing more monsters that you can then uh, take to your wife. Can't remember where she is though. Sorry, wife. Where the hell is she? I can't remember. I don't even know if she is my wife or not, because apparently one of the things to become a cocoon wielder is the fact that you need to have a wife who can um, basically transform the enemies and make them usable or turn them into silk that you can then sell at the shop which again doesn't make much sense there she is doing divine magic is very tiring Ugh. after performing a purification i feel so sluggish and i'm a terrible husband because i just make her do more there you go firefly cocoons and for the tormented we pray grant us the beasts of knowledge the power to touch the spirit and then she's transforming all the monsters we just caught and turning them into basically like Tamagotchi things that I can then take with me through the gates so we can then open this menu up here and you can basically breed them to make stronger ones with different spells and skill sets or you can turn them into cocoons turn them into silk so we've got a few different we've got three different level fours here so we can like select two of these and then you can see the outcome i suppose you're meant to breed two different um two different types together so 
Let's see what these two become. There you go, that thing there, whatever that is, and you can really zoom in on it. And view other abilities. You can see the different abilities that it gets. And you can also see it's kind of family tree, I guess, which doesn't really make all that much sense yet. So I'm just choosing random pairs and seeing what comes out, whether it's a different thing or not. Oh yeah, it kind of did look like the lizards in Dodongo's cavern. So here we get the sleep ability, which is useful, and foot, whatever foot does. And that as well, whatever that is, but it doesn't really tell you. Anyway, you can press triangle to combine them together, so let's do that. And that actually increased the level as well to make it level 5. Merge thy flesh to gain yet greater power. And then she'll do some sort of magic spell. Reveal to us thy heroic form. And then you can add it into your party. Which is cool. And then you can sell some of the weaker ones, I guess. Although I pretty much bought out the entire of the blacksmith's shop, so there's nothing else for me to buy at the minute. And we can give them names as well. Maybe I should start naming them after people in the stream. Let's see. This one will be... S.S. Kento. There we go. You are now officially one of my monsters. Yeah. And now we can bring you out of there and replace one of these. There we go, now you're in my party. <laughs> Let's make another one and call it Ginger Wolf too. What else is good? We have a level 5 and let's see what happens if we mix these two together. Harari! Okay, we get some weird long-necked dinosaur bird thing. I don't even know what you would call that. And it's going to have a fang earth attack and the same slime thing as well. I still have no idea what I'm looking at on the screen here. It just tells you... I don't know where, where it is on that scale. I'm guessing it's right at the start. Oh well. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on here. Oh magical beasts who serve This is the ginger wolf anyway. To gain yet greater power. Reveal to us thy heroic form. Let's see the ginger wolf's heroic form. A weird pterodactyl with a long neck. It is done. I don't think all that will fit though. Whoops. It might do. It doesn't fit. You can be the ginger woe. Or the ginger W, okay. The ginger win. There we go. And let's add you into the team as well. well I was on the wrong screen then. Replace that. There we go. Now you're in the team. What makes you think it's a Christian game? I do feel like it has some sort of religious undertones. Well, good luck. Because some bits did sound a bit like scripture-ish in terms of the backstories, which is kind of weird.
and the story of creation. I don't know. I think they're just making up their own sort of religious background. We've already watched that cutscene twice. I don't want to go through it all again. We should seek out Kikinok, the <coughs> legendary bird man. Into the dragonfly forest. Yes, but that's where we're going to go next time. Be sure to ask the old gravekeeper about the legends. The gravekeeper is that old guy who just goes on and on and on. I accidentally let it run through all his stories, and there was like five different FMV cutscenes back to back. Anyway, I think that seems like a good place to end the stream now. It is exactly 11 o'clock here, so I'm going to go and get ready for bed. Thank you so much for joining me on part one of Jade Cocoon. Overall, I had a great time with it. It is a little bit slow, but I would kind of expect that from a PS1 JRPG. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I'm planning on doing another stream, possibly on the weekend, but if not on the weekend, then definitely Tuesday next week at the same time. 7.30 UK time, so I will see you all there. Thank you so much. Go and watch my channel. In the meantime, I've done some great videos recently, and I've got a load more stuff coming soon. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm going to head off to bed. Have a good evening, everyone. Peace.